I went in the work this morning. Boss told me to have a good day. So I fucked off and went home. <laughs> so apt. <laughs> What's blue and fuck single mums? It's midget smurfs. Um, the Conservative Party. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, it. Right then, scumbags. Welcome back to another episode of In the Doghouse, the podcast that's sad to hear about Liam Payne's passing, but takes solace in the fact that he t- lived out his final days in Argentina, like all great men. <sighs> Big up to Rich Webb for that one, all right? I didn't write that. That was Rich. I, I don't point all hate at that man. Uh, but yeah, that was Ring good. the fucking bell. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Housekeeping. Buy the merch. It's on the website. You know where it is. ITDH.UK, I think. Yes. Um, beanies, bosh. Stickers, bosh. Um, uh, Patreon t-shirts. Bosh. Marlon, can you please explain in the most simple terms how to get a Patreon t-shirt? Right. So, <laughs> on the Patreon site. Unlock your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Step one. Make sure your phone is turned on. It's Step like two. Taxable. Open it. Right. Step three. Log into your Patreon. Step four. The code is fucking there. Or alternatively, go on the Discord. Scroll back on merch ideas or announcements or anywhere. You can even use the search function and put in the word password and it will be there. Don't worry, we've tried to make it as simple as possible, but still, turns out, know your audience. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you want the Patreon t-shirts, where are they? On the fucking website! Well, how do you find the Patreon part of the website, Right, Marlon? if you go to itdh.uk, there is a set of fucking tabs across the top of the page, just underneath the logo. It says something like, home merch, puck, or um, something. FAQs. Yeah, and then it says... Patreon, and you click on the Patreon, you put the password in, you can get the t-shirts, bloody brilliant! Okay, I, I didn't think we'd have to work this hard for people, for, for us to lose money on a t-shirt, but there you go. If it's you want cool, it, buy it, don't, we love you. Do what you want, you're your own man. Uh, I'm not yeah. your real dad. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, Patreons, we do love you really, we do, we really do, because without as you... As sarcastic as we are, yeah. we wouldn't be here without you. The show doth not continue without the Patreon, Marlon. Uh, yeah, so big up to the Patreons, you guys keeping the show going, along with the sponsors, continuing the madness. Um, do you want to be a Patreon? Are you big and bad enough? Are you disgusting enough? Do you have what it takes to join the Discord? Because my god... Not two minutes before starting this show, I have been on there right now, and I have seen Dirty Diesel, God bless him, um, has posted a a video of a woman pulling a bowling ball out of her anus. So there's that. I mean, is that full size? Uh, I'd say it's probably probably a three eight scale. No, like three eight scale. <laughs> well, uh, look, there's a there's a chain hanging out the back of her jeggings. God, I haven't heard that term in a while. Yeah. And there's a chain hanging out of her ass. Fine ass. Uh, yeah, oh, no, it's not in a minute. No. That, that fucking, that ring piece looked like a chewed orange. Look at it. <laughs> My God. What oh, a... I'm about five seconds behind you, so I'm not <laughs> quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's oh the chain. my god. I tell you what, if you needed anything smuggling out of country, she'd be your fucking girl. <laughs> the first comment is please don't have a dick. Please don't have a dick. Please don't, <laughs> please don't have a bowling ball key ring. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I forgot my oh. bowling ball. Don't worry, oh. G, I got you. Right, so there you go. If you want to become a patron, you can join the Discord and see all the absolute madness that happens in there. Um it's great fun. We're always doing stuff um it's just it's, oh, i don't really know you have to you have to become a part of it to um to experience what our discord has become over the years um yeah you can join it for as little as a couple of quid a month all the way up to top tier scumbag level which is five pound plus that um that get you 10.69 percent off the merch you also get entered into what marlon the monthly pit viper giveaway yeah what happens there uh, we give Anyone? away. We I'm give. Sure a, we give. All, me yeah, Will. What happens <laughs> there? Automatically, something yeah, happens. Yeah. You automat- so when go. you join the Patreon, you're automatically entered into the Patreon giveaway. Yeah, it happens usually at the end of the month or the beginning of the next one, whichever one we can fit in somewhere and fuck off if it's late. Then there's two pairs of pit vipers given away 
every month. Yeah. For nothing. For free. I know. For free. Delivered. Delivered. Bloody I, hell. I know. And I can't, I, I don't know how else to sell it to you. Just uh, basically stop being so fucking tight. All right. Just give us your money. <laughs> I'm tired of banging on this drum. I tell you what you can have. I tell you all the things that we do and what you can get access to and this, that, and the other. And do you know what sales tactic works the best I've found over all this time is if I just go, stop being a tight cunt, all right? The amount of money you spend on a fucking pub, what do you spend on a pub in a night? 25 quid on fucking beer? And that's like one night of oh, one night of fun in a week? We give you two hours a week of fucking absolute madness and the Discord, which will give you never-ending amounts of pornography, disgusting shit, and hilarious banter and memes. And you're still just like, no, I just listen to free. Just give us your fucking money, you tight cunts, all right? I'm sick of this. <laughs> fucking freeloaders. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone wants something for nothing, don't they? Just give us your money, all right? <laughs> yeah, I don't do what you want, but just give us your money. Um, yeah. So, there was something uh, else was I supposed to mention. I don't know. Don't ask me. Um, um, Patreon. Oh, uh, when is the giveaway? I don't fucking know. We're doing it on, I thought we were thinking about doing it on Sunday, maybe. End of the month, is it? End of the month. Usually it do- is going to be on... <laughs> Where are we to? I'm oh, in November Sunday. already. Do it on Sunday. Well, we on are Monday. almost in November. We're not, do, not doing it on Friday. Sunday. The 27th. The 27th. So when you listen to this, it would be two days after you listen to this. There you go. The link will be in the... Patreon. In the Patreon. In the Discord. Or in the Discord. And so you'll all be emailed, so you all have... And hopefully, if all goes to plan, we'll record it as, a, as an extra episode, and the Patrons will get that too. So yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, but fucking... What? Cameras have been coming for 12 months, Reg. Don't get too keen. <laughs> I have all the intentions of getting this done. <laughs> yeah. Um, New hoodies are supposed to be out by the end of the month. How's that coming along? Where is your bar stools as well? Gotta understand that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, where's your bar stools? Why are you, you always out for me? <laughs> <laughs> How's the gate coming on, Marlon? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, if there's one thing I know. <laughs> Right, look after number one Sorry, first. Sorry, right? that Worry about the hoodies later. Out of character <laughs> and unprovoked. The boy's in here. Yeah, we'll worry about the comfort of my anus before I start worrying about Where's the Where's my chaise long? I don't want to think about your anus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, uh, before we get into the show, massive shout out. Buy the merch to... so we can help Reg's anus. Yeah, but, uh, massive shout out to the sponsor it's of got the bowling show. Balls to come. The Auto Mover. <laughs> hey. Bye, you better listen up. Um, I was only speaking to someone this weekend uh, who has just bought a new vehicle and it reminded me, it reminded me something fierce, Marlon, that these dealers, they're great, don't get me wrong, man loves a new vehicle just as much as a rest man or if it's approved, used or whatever, or even if it's not even approved, even, even if it's from just a, you know, a second hand car dealer. He's like, don't worry, mate. I've got, uh, I've, got a, I've got a guy that can drop that off for you. Oh, don't worry. It's good, good pride. No. God, for all the love of all that is holy, do not use the man that the dealer recommends, okay? I can't <laughs> preach this enough. We've all seen it. I was driving on the 303 on Saturday morning, and there was a brand new Mercedes on the back of... Do you want to take a while? Well, Transit a Beaver Tail! Close. It was a 2006 Citroen Relay. Uh, oh, wow. Yes. Uh, and I thought, wow, that looks... Secure. Not only what I give it to you, it looked secure, but it was also, I think your man has obviously drove it on, looking out the left, uh, looking out the driver's window at his wheel, and he has got it like dead on, tight as tight can be to that alley frame. And I was like, mm, yeah, those wheels are going to be not curved, are they? Um, but obviously, he's put it in super tight to that side, so it was about two foot on the other side. And I, the whole thing was leaning slightly to the right. Yeah, I was not like, looking good, bruv. Not looking good, and there's a brand new Mercedes. So your man's going to drop that off in your driver. Like, oh, cheers, mate, all the best, boy. And you're like, well, well the curved wheels are fucked. What the yeah. fuck is going on here? Yeah, so. Oh, you know, don't you, do it to yourself. If you're buying a car from a dealership and they're like, don't worry, we can get it, deli-. don't. Just don't even entertain it. Just be like, you know what, mate? Keep that. I'll sort out my own haulage. I'll get a guy that's going to come down here and look after it as if it was his own. More than that, he's going to look after it like it's yours. That's the main thing. You're the customer. It's your pride and joy that you are buying, moving, whatever it might be. He's going to take the greatest care of it. Also, fully insured, professional, reliable, live tracking. What else can you ask from the auto mover? Live tracking. You can't beat it. This is the thing. This is what he does for a living and it's not just he's not he's not like most of these guys that are just relying on you know a bit of a, a bit of a brand envelope that comes from the local uh, you know the local Citroen dealer every other week so I get all the work so I ain't really got to bother about what the thing looks like coming off at the other end mate no you're not going to get that with the auto mover you're a dedicated load you're not going on the back of a 
four fucking tiered car transporter with one hanging over the bloody windscreen. It's not like that. You are literally a soul. You are the sole car that day. That's all he's worried about is getting that car to you in a timely uh, fashion and exactly how it left the dealership or wherever you've bought it from. So if you're looking for uh, anything that needs, if you've got something that needs moving, one wheel, two wheel, four wheels, no wheels, car, Caravan, hovercraft, whatever it might, mower. If it's if it's got a ball hitch or if it can go on a trailer, the auto mover is the man for you. Massive shout him out to him for sponsoring the episode. Use ITDH in the vehicle description for ten percent off. Uh, big up to him and thank you for sponsoring the show. Right, you you're all just itching to do it. You're itching to do it. Right, I am a mature adult and I know when a joke is no longer funny. Good, right, and that is. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime soon. All right, welcome to the show, Will. Thanks for coming back, mate. Thanks for having me. It's all right, man. Uh, let's kick off with you then. How's your How's your week been, brother? Oh, it's been good. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's been good actually. I nearly killed a man today. Genuinely, you know when you have a near miss and you think I was really close. Was someone, it on someone actually or? nearly died. No, it's yeah, the most is, boring is that, story. Is that when you realise the uh, scope's not actually quite zeroed? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Bloody hell, I nearly killed that guy. I wasn't even doing anything dangerous. I was driving with the sun in my... It was half five today, so the sun is at like... Oh, win, low winter you, sun. Yeah. yeah. And my sun visor down. So I could... The actual sun itself was not visible, but there was like a glare. Yeah. I'm driving along through a village near me. And I was, I was thinking to myself as I was driving, I thought, inside of my windscreen is actually really dirty. Like, you know, in the, normally you don't realise how dirty your windscreen is until the sun shines yeah. on it. Yeah. And I was thinking, why not? I had this cleaned. I had a wedding the other month. I had it cleaned. They should have fucking cleaned. It's probably not that dirty. And it, as I'm thinking this, splat! I see a fucking golden retriever. <laughs> golden retriever and a man jumping out of the way. Because I was basically <laughs> going through a village near me, country lane with like grass verges. And as I'm, yeah, as I'm thinking, oh, it's a bit dirty. No, uh, it's really sunny. I can't really see a lot, but I can see there's no, you know, cars or whatever. I just see the dog. So I go right, I sort of jolt steering wheel right to go away from the verge. See the man who I see a lot walking his dog. Oh, no. As well. Like, because no. it's, it's from the village next door to me. I could drive past it all the time. And I always think, oh, there's that bloke with his dog, you know, and you put yeah. your hand up and whatever. And I, he works in Morrison's. I know, and, you know, I see him enough. And, <laughs> Fucking so anyway. Size nine shoes. As, as I <laughs> as I sort of veer, as I notice the dog first, and I go right hand down sharp and sort of go out on the road, and I look at him. I could just see, you know, when you look at someone's face and it's anger, and you can sort of when someone goes fucking hell like that, yeah. and their face goes. And I thought, oh no! And I thought, fuck, that was really fucking close. Actually, I look at my rear view, and he stood. On the verge, like looking back at me as if to say, You, you fucking nutter. <laughs> and I got a lawnmower on the back as well. So it's not like he can be like, Well, it was a silver discovery. I don't know. <laughs> it was it was that guy I always see driving like a fucking I wasn't on my phone. I wasn't drunk. There was like literally, I had both hands on the wheel, <laughs> sun in my eye. It was genuine. If I had killed him and ended up in court, I, I would have just been like, It's just the sun. You know? <laughs> and the judge would have been like, I feel you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on Snapchat. I wasn't drunk, <laughs> and uh, I was paying all attention to how dirty my windscreen was. Anyway, we'll Snapchat story sorry, from that day. <laughs> when, when the sun be looking like you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, so and I, I thought for a second, because it all happened very quickly. Obviously, no one was hurt, as far as I know. I didn't hear any bang. The dog seemed all right, but um, <laughs> no blood anywhere. I did think maybe I should stop because I got this thing. I've said about it before on here. When a woman in another village, and this makes me sound like I just drive around carelessly, <laughs> but I don't. Remember the woman at Pilton that told, like, <laughs> with her torch and told me I should slow down, and I basically politely stopped and said, "Well, you should have a high vis on because I can't see you in your barber jacket." Oh yeah. You, that. So I thought with him, I thought maybe I'll stop and get out. Get a high vis, you fucking pro. No, and do the opposite thing. You go, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Are you okay?" And then he might say, "Well, oh, you fucking really killed me." You go, but at least I can say, "Look, I'm really sorry. The sun was in my eyes. I didn't see you." And then we could, you know, have a bit of closure on this incident. <laughs> Instead, I slowed down a bit and thought, I looked at my mirror and saw him, his angry face, and thought, Scowling. oh, fuck, fuck it, I'm going home. <laughs> oh, tea's on the table, I go and saw him. Just lean out the window. <laughs> well, Austin Garden <laughs> Service is five stars on Google, motherfucker! <laughs> the thing is, I will pass him at some point in the next week, I reckon. That's the point where you slow down and go, mate, the So other maybe, day. Th- yeah, right, maybe then I should stop and say, 
That's what I do because I'm emotions, really will, emotions will be He's running really, high yeah. at that point. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. sorry about Nelly Flattening and you. Should. Really sorry because to be fair, he was on the he was on my side of the road, but looking towards me as a pedestrian. You should walk on the opposite, opposite. side of the road, facing the traffic. Yeah. for this exact situation, because he could see that I w- couldn't see him and was coming towards him, so he jumped out of the way. But if he was walking away from me with his back to me, he would. I fucking flat. would have killed his dog definitely. And probably would have broken his leg. And my day would have been... Ru- I mean, it would be great content for now. <laughs> but it wouldn't... So that, so he did everything... What I'm saying is, he did everything right. He was walking on the right side of the road. He had a bright... It wasn't high vis, but it was like a bright jacket on. Uh, so, I, uh, yeah, next time I see him, you're right. I'll pull over. I'll say, look, I'm really sorry about the other day. How's your dog? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> did he shit himself? Did you pick it up? You got a dog bag? <laughs> um... So yeah, that was that, and honestly, for like about an hour after, I was like, "Fuck, that was really close." Did you get home and clean the inside of your windscreen? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. But what I did after, after, after I like another five minutes, and I was sort of calmed down a bit. I did wipe the inside with my fingers. I was like, "That wipe. makes it I a million it. times worse." And I was like, "Well, I can see better, but you're right, it made it worse." So I was rummaging around for something, and I found that an can. item of something. Yeah, that just. Can. <laughs> I Somebody's found a, thong. Found something. <laughs> Last yeah, Victor's wig t-shirt. or something. <laughs> yeah. and, Cannonball and I, with a chain on it. I've I've cleaned it. I've cleaned it now. But it's amazing how the sun, like, it wasn't it just, even directly in my eye either. I had the visor blocking the actual sun, but the glare off it was just, enough. It reflects off of anything that's oh, on the glass. Yeah. yeah. I've I've done it. I've done it. I told yeah. I told that story. I told that story ages ago when I nearly when I like I a cyclist smacked my wing mirror. No, I, I was, that cunt would have gone in the hedge. <laughs> that was years ago, doing exactly the same thing. I was going up, um, I was going up an A road, and I was coming up to uh, like you know winter sun in my eyes, and I've got uh, a wooded area coming towards me. So obviously the like not towards me, but the wooded area is kind of coming up in front of me. As far as I, my eyes are concerned, that is the abyss. That is a black yeah. fucking hole of nothing, and all I can see is sun, and everything that's dark is I mean, just especially with his eyes, pitch black. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if I, hit, I actually hit him off and I've been, the policeman looked at my eyes and be like, you're legally blind. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, I was driving the P38 and I was just driving along and all of a sudden I just hear this massive thunk and I see my wing mirrors folded in and I'm like, what the fuck? I look at my rear view and there's this cyclist just raging and I'm like, oh, nearly killed oh, no. you. Nearly got you. Well, I just didn't see him. It's just, you know, have, have For a, the greater good. Have, yeah. a, have some sort of flashing light on or something. Or, or just don't ride a bike, you cunt. Don't be a middle-aged twat. Yeah. yeah. Shave chest Get an and exercise light, bike. Do it in your own fucking yeah. house. Is out a, of the fucking way. To be way. fair, if it was a cyclist in my situation today, I wouldn't be so sympathetic. I would have been, well, you fucking useless twat. You know, go home and shag fucking your wife. Come with a trailer. Yeah, but because he was a bloke walking a dog, and yeah. I, was gen- I was genuinely so shocked at how I thought I fucking nearly killed him, and I'm pretty good driver, to be fair, I think. Well, you know, I do Buffalo pay. didn't think that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so that happened. Apart from that, not much else to report in my life. Grass is still growing. Just, just. Well, it's mild though, isn't it? It is mild. Yeah, and it's wet as fuck, so it's still growing. So I'm still mowing, baby. I have much to report in the way Ooh. of landscaping. Oh yeah, I have mowed the leaves three yeah. times this year. Nice. Have you still? You can't see. I, dark when I got here, I did notice the lawn looked good. No leaves, yeah, not a leaf yeah. in sight. I have been out. mulching's a way to go as well. Well, I haven't mulched them. See, is you that? Do you think that? Yeah, collect. Do you think I should yeah. mulch them into the grass? That the grass doesn't grow uh, no, you very could well. You collect them, maybe. On I collect, your lawn, I collect yeah. them all when I put them into my compost. You see what you want. To I be put honest. them in my compost bin. <laughs> You've got your own key. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> do, do you know what, Reg? I couldn't really give a shit. I don't really care. Do much, I but... give a fuck about your three square foot of grass? <laughs> no, I don't. I piss on it most days. I'm here anyway. <laughs> and your wife goes I've, mental. I've been pretty good at the last you few times. You have been actually. very good, and I do appreciate that. Yes, thank last you. Last time it was only a shit. My yeah. fucking the estate manager for Marlon's coming round, like fuck Reg's grass. I don't manage his shit. My grass looks fantastic. Fantastic. Mine yeah, sucks, uh, but yeah, no, I'm mowing the leaves like a mole. Fuck a well, hell but yeah! The other thing, you might a leaf blowing is a new thing. I, I mean, it's not a new thing; it's been around for years. <laughs> no, it's been irritating <laughs> but, people on estates but, yeah. just for twenty years, mate. It's not new. So now the grass has slowed down. I'm doing a lot more leaf blowing, and I fucking love it. I got a steel BR five fifty for anyone who is that gives the a one like in the backpack? Backpack, mate. It moves leaves miles. You just blow them. We'll pull up on big five fifty, pop it and twist it. Watch (laughs) me kicks in. 
They do bigger ones, but they cost a fucking fortune. Well, you got a backpack do 800s. one? Do eight hundreds? Yeah, do eight hundreds. I got five. What is that? CC? Uh, leaves per minute or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, LPM. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <sighs> but yeah, leaf blower is good. Um, got a half a litre engine in it. It's I a thought, big boy though. Is it's it quite heavy? Boy. Yeah, it's quite heavy. It also, goes through the fuel quick. Like you fill it up, and a half hour later, it's flat out and it's empty. Two stroke. Yeah, it's good. Um, so that's basically as exciting as my life is at the minute. <laughs> Blowing leaves and trying not to kill people, but failing. <laughs> I've got I've got a uh, backpack still, but it's a fumigator. Oh, uh, yeah, it might be the similar one to me because it's just a pipe and a tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally the same. Yeah, I just is got it 550, a... is it? I don't know which one it is. I haven't Ooh. used it for years. I mean, I've, I, I stopped genociding back in like 2004, oh, yes. so I've not needed to gas anything. Um <laughs> He used to do it to gas the flies. <laughs> Seriously. He used to fill it up with this like stuff that you can't get anymore. Um, yeah, there's a Zyklon or something. We used to put crack in it. Um, and he would, <laughs> yeah, that's a motherfucker. Oh, he just used to, yeah, he just to kill all the flies in the, in, the, in the fly sheds. They use it in grain stores, don't they? I think, yeah, I don't know. I guess so. Yeah, just Someone you know, out there is shouting yes or no. Yeah, no, fuck used, it, I can't hear you. He used to so. use it for yeah. flies. I think f- they do. We'll say I, I yeah. know what I'm on about with grain stores. Big in the cereal game, me. And you can use it to... <laughs> You can Golden use nuggets it to, is my um, thing, man. Fumigate <laughs> empty sheds as well. He's put like powdered Vircon S in it and then just like hold your breath real yeah. real long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if fucking HSE listen. Uh, but yeah. No, no, he just tries to poison himself again. Yeah. To be fair, I don't need to find that thing. I don't know. We'll go, I can have some fun with that. Well, you, you could at least blow leaves with it, because if you did if you take off all the spray bottle stuff, it's just a leaf blower, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, yeah. It's just it just puts out volume. Yeah. It's yeah. like a proper you look like a it looks like a um Oh, it's doom, 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 doom. Uh, fucking Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. What are they called? The you know they got the backpacks. Uh, sucky the, ghosty thing. Yeah, I don't, yeah, one of those. Just it blows, not sucks. Just blow the ghosts away, uh, or just <laughs> blow blow the ghosts. Just oh. blow. <laughs> 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 they might come back more then. Oh, ectoplasm all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Marlon, how's your week been, Beth? Yeah, I'm fucking amazing. I just love Land Rovers. Good. Um, Which one's your favourite? <laughs> Oh, definitely the Ingenium. Yeah? The two litre, yeah, I love them. Why, why do you love them so much? Because um, they're so unreliable. Just keeps me in the job. Good. Yeah. I am really done fuck all this week, in all honesty. Oh, he spent a bit more time on the caddy. So yeah. I, like, carpet in and out real nice. Ooh. Um, what else did I do? I drank some beer. Cool. Wow. Uh, I did a shitload of orders. Ah. Uh. That was, yeah, that was some you time. You still go down the shop, down the road? Yeah, oh, they fucking <laughs> loved me this weekend. Did they? they were like, we've... <laughs> you promised. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Adolf, I didn't promise anything. <laughs> yeah. What, what else have I done? You promised to stay away. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I think I dropped 25 off on Saturday when we got back. And then, and probably another 25 on Sunday. And y- your man behind the counter, he's, you know, you know the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the claw. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he is, but I can imagine him. I see him. I see him. He's, like, he's ringing the bell. Oh, this is ridiculous. I see him in Tesco's from time to time. And he look. I just catch his eye and I'm like, God, I hope you don't listen. God, I hope you don't listen. <laughs> Beware of the clock. <laughs> no, we don't mention any shop names or anything. He's going to be the like, parcel shop. This is his fucking supervillain origin story. Is these two dickheads on a show take the piss out of his clock? Maybe you should get him on one day. No. Maybe you should do the opposite. Like no. me with my dog walk. I'm going to stop and talk to him and apologise. No, he's you should see this guy in Tesco bread. and go. No, he's just a miserable cunt you... for no reason. <laughs> well, aren't we all? <laughs> no. I think I'd be I'd be pretty miserable if I had a claw too. Actually, to be fair, Nemo's got a claw. He's not miserable. He's fucking no, sane. He's a yeah, exactly. You can be fucking. You can be a fucking chap and have a claw. Yeah. You haven't got to be a stinky little weirdo. Lobsters are happy too. They got two of them, haven't they? <laughs> oh, I love you, Nemo. Oh. oh, there is something else, but I didn't write it down because I'm a useless cunt. <sighs> uh, what about the gate then? How's that coming on? Just to go back to that and Don't wind, bring wind you up, up even more. <laughs> Painted half of it still or something. Where is the it? gate? Is it 
on don't, site yet. Don't, oh, it's an undisclosed location. <laughs> don't don't pile <laughs> jobs. Thomas's yeah. Glastonbury. Don't, what I've <laughs> learned with Marlon over the years is don't pile jobs on him because he gets very angry. He gets enough of that at work. The last thing he needs here is to be like, "Where are the chairs, Marlon? Why is the TV <laughs> broken, Marlon? Why well, you the broke the cunt TV? See, see, there you go. See, all we need to do is just, oh, that was, let's that not was mention that. Three anymore, is the then. limit there. So see. Just he gets thrown to it in his own time, and pushing and prodding will get you nowhere apart from bitey, bitey, Marlon. <laughs> but there's a lot of like, everything I want to mention is something that oh, yeah, should have can... been done ages ago. <laughs> 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 I was yeah. just about to say about the garage, the the top of your garage roof that you couldn't reach. I done it. Have you done it? Yeah. Because I said done. just get a fucking broomstick handle. That's what I did. Yes, good. I was done. Yeah. Well done. Marlon did something. <laughs> good. <laughs> Finished the project. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well yeah, done. I'm gonna make you I'm... jump over the gate next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick the fucker down. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> if you breathe on it too hard, it'll fall down at the minute. Well, I... well done. Good. That's good. I had a really weird fucking dream the other night. Ooh. Oh God, here we go. If we've really reached this point in the <laughs> podcast, <laughs> fuck me. No, it is something I'm quite scared of. My garage was robbed. Oh, yeah. Oh, bollocks. Yeah. yeah it's never good. Do you wake up in hot sweats? Yeah. Yeah. It's and I was like, for your barbecues. what about my blue box? What about my blue? Because I got a big blue, blue Red Bull toolbox at work. And for some reason, I don't, it was in there in the dream. Yeah. And I opened the garage and there was nothing left apart from some wood. Oh. And. I was to, terrified. You need to go see a dream interpreter about that. I've never that. been so... I've got a question about the dream. In the dream, in which your garage gets robbed and everything gets taken, what's the situation with the gate? Was it the old gate or the new no, gate? No, it wasn't at that Maybe house. this is a mean... This, the meaning of this is, is, is get the get new the gate fucking, installed uh, and they won't rob the garage. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... You know? A, you, and I reversed the transit, <laughs> uh, the transporter up to it. Oh. <laughs> you can't get in there anymore. Have you really? Yeah. Since the dream? Yeah. Mad, isn't it? How dreams do stuff it's, like that. Uh, it, I was I woke up and I was like fuck yeah went downstairs I'm the it was three o'clock in the fucking morning and I was like oh I wouldn't eat like then I started to come back to reality and I was like oh it's not even this house oh what is your old garage that got robbed no it didn't have I, a garage it's old house I, 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 don't, I don't I can't place the location what if the garage in your dream got robbed yeah so maybe someone else's garage got robbed <laughs> You and knew I about it, but you didn't know who it was, so you can so tell them. Essentially, what you, you're like Tom Cruise in the Minority Report, right? And you're just like seeing crimes happen before they happen, but you're just like, oh, nothing to do with me, yeah. mate. <laughs> My garage is all right. Don't fuck them. <laughs> if your garage has been robbed in the last week or so, please write in because we might be able to find yeah, out. I'd... You didn't have any cameras up, you just couldn't. Um... Quite a, it was quite a long oh, garage. Fuck me. What, are we, okay. what is this show turned into? I oh, know you usually talk a load of shit because I'm just taking over for are you just gonna, here last are time. Are we just going to start now? talking about how Mercury is in Gatorade or whatever it is now? That's not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, but fuck the, off. So your garage is fine yep. now and everything's as it should be. Yes. Good. Apart from the gate. Yeah, panic over. Good. I will get fuck off. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Usually it's Will and Mule um, take the piss out of me. I don't still... even need Mule. I mean, it's great to have backup, but I can do it on my own. <laughs> How's your week been, Specky? <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, man, it's been good. It's been good. good. No one cares. No, it's, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've backed in the beef far farming this week, uh, today. I've, uh, I've did you actually do something at work? I did. I did. Did you fall over? <laughs> no, I was been... stuck in a ditch, shot a pheasant, and went home. <laughs> <laughs> There's, oh, there is, to be fair, there is one cock pheasant be like, where the hoes at, man? I'm like, I killed them all. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I, the su I, I'm the Sutcliffe of the pheasant world. <laughs> of the, of the Sutcliffe of the flightless birds. Um, yeah, so I've been painting today, boys. I've, uh, I've I've been painting a house, one of the old man's houses. He was like, right, it's a nice sunny day. I'm going to go paint this fucking house. I was like, all oh, right. Anyway. So you haven't done any farming? Uh, I did some moderate farming this morning. And then I went like painting. Hobbyist farming. Yeah. yeah, just sort of hobby farming, you know, be fun. Um, yeah, so I went painting today. Uh, I, fuck, I hate painting. What so colour was it? Was it like shit. elephant fart or, uh, or no. something? No. <laughs> No, was, was it? I assume it was Farrow and Ball Red. No, Come on, it must have been something like I, that. I am not a Farrow and Ball. I am a, I'm a, I'm a Dulux Diamond man. You should know that. 
I'm trade. Bag it. Uh, yeah, ninety quid a fucking tin. Uh, no, I was uh, I was sand taxing the outside of the, the house. Uh, uh, did you use the um, broom handle extension? Uh, trick you, no. I learned from Will. Yeah, Marlon's big in the decorating well, game. No, yeah, uh, because I'm I only not, painted a bit of the roof. Because I'm not yeah. a fucking povo. I had a JCB with a man cage, mate. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I, that might have been a little bit excessive yeah. to do my garage. I was going to say 130. <laughs> ladder. No, I got 130 grand fucking lifty lift. <laughs> uppy, uppy. Yeah. That's literally me just there in the case. Uppy, come on. <laughs> Boom out. Till, so what colour is Italiana now then? It's not yellow anymore, is it? Uh, the outside is yellow. The inside is uh, speckled white. Uh, <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. yeah so Did you just paintbrush it or roller it? Uh, roller it. And I like uh, one of those like textured outdoor out of house rollers. So it's just, it's essentially a sheep that's been wrapped around as a, a toilet roll, and it holds about four, it holds about four gallons of paint. So it's like, you can like roll it in, you like, <laughs> and yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So that was fucking shit. Uh, I, I don't like painting anything. Oh, you should have asked me. I got um, the number of the people that did my house. I've got I've got a fucking eight hundred pounds paint sprayer, like Bring an actual. That. Well, I know. Well, it could be fun to mask it up, could I? Well, no, it's just uh, the old man was like, oh, well, make a mess. And I was like, yeah, it's painting. Like, and what? What about next door neighbor's tarmac? I was like, fuck him. It's only Spunkle's mum and dad. Fuck him. <laughs> 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 Literally, I text Spunkle because I thought he was in his workshop. I text him. Uh, I what like, time was it? Hang on. What time was <laughs> it? It was. It was a decent time. It was, like, it was uh, you know, oh, yeah, 2 day off today. It passed the yard arm. So passed the masturbation. And I, all stage. I could hear was this. <laughs> I said, I text him. I said, Spunkle, does that fucking tool you're using have a silent, uh, have a, have a silent mode? And he was just like, no, nah, I think it's the old, I think the old man's out there fucking around. I was like, what's he doing? Tur- sanding a four by two to a two by two. He's been on it for ages. He's trying to fuck off. I don't know what he was doing. But well, he just flicked it on and he escaped from the wife for a minute. I think that's literally, he was, he was out. <laughs> Spunkle, call your old man out. Fuck it. <laughs> Your old mate, his old man was wearing, wearing some like Adidas trackies, Adidas hoodie. I can't say much. I'm wearing the same right now. Um, uh, and he was uh, just sat outside his shed, just dremeling something for about two hours. No idea what he was doing, but he looked like he was just at peace with the world. I was going to say, was he happy? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm like, I, I looked, yeah, I looked at him initially, yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? And then I was like, he's high I'm as fuck. Doing man I, was like, I was like, you know what? That's what I had, I attained to that in like 20 years time. Just sat outside in a tracksuit, just me. Polishing or dremeling something down to within an inch of its life. It was so shiny. I was just like, I can see my own hopes and dreams in there. It's 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 you in twenty years. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty wank. But um, what's been going on? I uh, when uh, we went shooting, we went shooting, and it was fucking awesome. We went on a sim day, didn't we? That's Marlon? my first ever sim day. It, it? My first as well. Quite a few people's actually. I've, done, I've only done one or two before, but they're good fun. Oh my God. Do big, tell us all about it. Big up to our sponsor, Devon Clay Days, um, for uh, putting it on. It was absolutely fantastic. Big up to all the boys that came. I haven't got time to name you all here, but you know who you are. You're listening. Um, it was fucking amazing. Such a good day. Oh, how, yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, a shoot on a farm. I'm going to be doing a walking. I hate walking. It's, for poor people, um, or people with no jobs, uh, and it, no, we like walked down to this one place, and it was like we're doing all the shooting here, and we're gonna move the traps around where you're stood in this valley. Fucking brilliant! All we had to do was walk to the peg, do a drive, walk back to the little shed, and have more beer and cake. Yeah. And uh, can, there was, I was cider, like, do you know what? Beer, I'm like, oh, if fantastic. this is what all shoots are like, I might buy some tweeds. What you don't see is behind the scenes. There's like. Three or four people frantically moving oh, stuff. Oh, give move, 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 go, Well, there were. There yeah. were yeah. very yeah. frantically. I don't care about them. Oh, yeah. no, you're, got, no, you're I've right. I've got my yeah. cruise Campo and I've got some water <laughs> yeah. and a cake. <laughs> was it a nice day? It was sunny too, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So oh, we were everything was so lucky with the weather. Yeah. It was gorgeous. The sun came out. I didn't lose my JCB coat. Fucking, oh, it was bloody warm. But yeah, it was... It, <laughs> It was awesome. It was, and what was made it even better was because it was my weekend off. My old man needed the uh, the Land Rover that I drive, so I got to take his V8 Defender Ooh. for the weekend, and I drove the living fuck out of that. He was like, "Well, don't hit it." I was like, "I'm not going to hit it. And don't fucking get no speeding tickets." I was like, "I will try not to. Try. I will take the number plates off. I will. Okay. I will try ish." Um, uh, he was like, "Bring it back full of fuel." I was like, "Again." We'll see what happens. Um, I did uh, 120 miles and I burned 80 quid worth of fuel. Ooh, nice. <laughs> it was 
epic. I, Fucking Greta would have a word. I'm not going <laughs> to say how fast I got it, but it. it how long would it take for a speed ticket to come through? Do you reckon from down there? Usually about two weeks, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I'd give it a week. I can't wait for next well, week. I know definitely. I've had a letter. It's time sensitive. I've already told him. <laughs> I said to him, "I was like, you're gonna get a letter because I went." Past the community <laughs> speed <laughs> wankers in Tiverton. Oh, we, fuck them. I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, slow down. I was like, nah, nah, no police. That's the hello, hello. <laughs> and I was like, has it got uh, the exhaust flapper button? Yeah, no, you just flick it in a dynamic mode. The, all the all the gauges glow red, and it's got like that ambient lighting in the cab, and that all glows red. And I was just like, Danger. "Well, well, it's so what's red. dynamic? Like proper sport Asbo mode? It tightens it? up the suspension, changes Does it the, the exhaust sound. Uh, right? Marlon, it will, just... do you know, Marlon will probably be able to explain it better. He than might I know more than me and you about Land yeah, Rovers. Yeah. Yes, uh, no, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a selling point. <laughs> okay, for it, people that but we're think buying it, does it. Things, we're getting excited. Come um, on, yeah, it makes us. it makes everything goes red, go red, and then opens up all the exhaust flaps, and makes it sound really loud, oh, and nice. it shifts more violently. Yes. Yeah. Sick. More aggressive. So you might get a letter saying, "Oh, I, I said to nice him, I like, defender. I it like, sounded really good." <laughs> <laughs> Me and I was in with um, Sam from Rutland Drainage. Thank you, mate. And oh, we went past them, and as soon as we went past them, he shoved his foot down, and he was like, "Shall we ring Reg and let him know?" <laughs> you like, did. Ah, fuck that cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking assholes. Um. Yeah, so that that was uh, I am uh, the most fun. The so, mo- what was it? Do you shoot, have lunch, and then shoot more, and then have lunch? Uh, uh, like, uh, do we, uh, Marlon, would you like explain how how it worked? Because when I- Ian from Devon Claydays explained it to me, I was very much of yes, I completely understand. I was thinking, do you know what? I'm going to turn up. You're going to tell me what to do, and I'm going to do yeah. it, and I'm sure it'll all be fine. <laughs> and that was he t- told me how many people to bring, how much it costs, how many, uh, where, what time we had to be there, and how many cartridges we needed. And that was as good all the information I needed. But Marlon, you explain. So we had to get up at some ungodly hour <laughs> before <laughs> nine a.m. That's the first thing. Seven you... o'clock. I had. I, but how long did it take Saturday. to get there? Like an hour, hour, an hour and a half yeah. from here from the minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So fucking stupid o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. To be down there for nine, uh, where we were greeted with breakfast. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Good. Yeah, yeah. So nice. Good first start. thing, breakfast. Yeah. Good. Cigarettes and breakfast. Yes, good. And slightly hungover Marlon. Yeah, you oh, were no. you were not on form first thing in the morning. You I, were... I'm not on form any, like, before <laughs> fucking at least 12 o'clock on a Saturday. But you yeah. were welcomed by what? Bacon coffee. So what? That, sausages. And sausages. Yeah, so sausages. that's got to, like, that's a good start. I mean, it, it helped, but yeah. I was still a little bit groggy because I... What time did we get in from here? Like one o'clock? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah, quite that's late. that's a fucking stupid idea. Yeah. <laughs> Friday night, we're like prepping the guns at one o'clock, scranning beers, just like, <laughs> what a good day we're going to have Hang tomorrow. On, you were playing in here with guns, were you, on a Friday? Uh, How's the TV looking? Uh, yeah, actually, well, fine. Well, we couldn't have <laughs> fucked it anymore. I made sure there was a, there was an ammo armistice at the door. I was okay, like, please good. remove all, all, all... So that's the same one that's fucked from the last time. All munitions. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, we had a went up to the field, the top field, just to kind of I, I don't know if they were feeling us out or yeah, to see who they needed to keep an eye on. Yeah. yeah, I think it was more just to get you familiar with like how it all goes, and also probably uh, if anyone needs help, they're probably giving. But it I'm to assuming them. they get a lot of people on these days that have never shot. Yeah, definitely. Plays before, yeah, so, they, so, so they, they need to just make yeah. sure everyone knows what to expect and yeah stuff. I guess don't they? Well, yeah, there was um, uh, there was somebody on the shoot who hadn't shot before, so um, their partner gave them a hand, didn't they, on yeah. the first shoot? And after that, they like were yeah. fucking bosh. Um, then they took us down into the other field. Yeah, down to the valley. <laughs> the valley. Into the valley. Uh, where we got in the hut and we had some water S- and stuff. Yeah. And mm. some cakes. Water and beer and, and, and cider. Did and they have lemon drizzle. I love a lemon drizzle. I can't remember what there was. Oh, I was just baby. stuffing my face. <laughs> Oh, and they had scones and, and they'd, they'd fuck the... And port. The, yeah, yeah, nice. Because yeah. we were in fucking port. Devon. They fucked that right. I can't remember the chap's <laughs> name, but it was the chap's name who was... Um, oh, I don't know. Who's the chap on the shoot that sort of stands behind everyone sort of observing? The, the, and the just, captain. Normally on a pheasant shoot, he'd be the captain. We'll call him the captain. Yeah. yeah he, the captain was the one who was like, anyone for port? I was like, yeah. fucking <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was... That, it was... Fucking brilliant. I really enjoyed it. And uh, so my it, shoulder it is still tender. But you go through cartridges. Like, like they're going out You go to mend it, you do a few. But at sim day, you go through a lot of... Yeah. Like the barrels yeah. are hot, your shoulder hurts. It's 
so hot. Yeah, it's all good fun though, isn't it? We had, I don't know if I've um, told you, Reg, we had a little gun malfunction twice. Oh, yes. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Shut up. You're a fucking <laughs> wanky pub. Can I guess which gun, fire it was, which gun it was? <laughs> I did not take the paperweight. The browning. Oh. So I think it just got too hot. So yeah. twice when I pulled the trigger, the trigger didn't move. Right. But you give it 10 seconds. It's fine. And it was fine. Thing is, a sim day is nothing like, like I said, Mendip or like a pheasant or any driven game day. There, there might be loads of birds, but it's never the same as sim days are. Fucking sim day is mad. Yeah. How many tra- was it? Did you, was it like one big thing of traps or loads of different ones? There was quite a few different traps. I've there was seen a, a, stuff. different ways. High, high low, towers. Coming yeah. my face. I've seen traps that go on the telehandler they've got like yep. six six traps a sort of welded frame and there's a bloke at the bottom with a massive remote control with yep. dials that's it yeah you can it's... basically put them up to max the speed the... and all these traps just go doo, 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 and the sky just goes black with clays yeah they had a, uh so they had like a, a load of traps on a on a telehandler i think yeah uh, and it was uh they were on oscillators or wobble yes, boards or whatever yeah. they call them um balls, sh- shaker there. plates whatever you want to call them <laughs> oh, what, 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 what. <laughs> It's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then there was a few. Uh, yeah, it was it was chaos. Yeah, was the, first, uh, the, every drive got higher and higher. And by the last drive, I was I, like, "Holy I, shit!" Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I was so glad me and Mule were together because we have the exact same attitude. Of what's that? I'm fucking done. <laughs> and he's like, "No, Marlon, you can push <laughs> through. You have to protect us." <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, I was, me and Mule were, uh, well, that was the thing. We were both shooting, me and Mule were shooting 27 gram loads, Botley Blasters, big up uh, the gun shop at Botley. Yeah, what a fucking stupid idea that was. I was, well, I was fine up until the very last drive on the last peg. Uh, I was about to swap with the wife, so she would shoot and I would load. And she was like, oh, I just can't, I'm done. And I was like, do you want me to shoot? And she was like, yeah. And I was like... Like fucking, give me those twenty-one grams that you've got. I'm yeah. fucking shooting these twenty-seven <laughs> anymore. My shoulders hurt, <laughs> even with that massive rubber pad that I got in. The, the problem is, the more it hurts, the more you sort of hold the gun off your shoulder, and yeah, it, it affects it, your shooting. Yeah, then, but then it, it? Uh, yeah. not only that, it comes back even harder, yeah, yeah. and you're like, fucking hell. But yeah, it was it was so good, so so good. I had the best time. Um, yeah, the Mossberg let me down, but I kind of I knew it let me down. I only brought it out for like half. It's the cartridges. It's the cartridges. Hey, hey, well, it's not it, the fucking cartridges. Well, no, it's very particular about what it likes with its bad firing pin. But what I will say, ever, oh, is your synergy melted, Reg? Oh, oh the front fell it, off. Oh, is your synergy <laughs> melted? Oh, was <laughs> it all broken? Off. No, no, but yours... And that is fucking karma. Mule's shitty Betanzoli with the ejectors <laughs> that he fully stripped down in here that night before. Sometimes a bottom one, sometimes a top one, sometimes <laughs> both. <laughs> Greased up to the nines. It was like, yeah, that synergy's going to let you down. Fucking brownings are wank, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. And you just like, oh, melty boy, is it going to melt? And your fucking triggers start playing up. So I tell you what, you can all fucking fuck off. My synergy worked beautifully all day and didn't let me down once. I mean, I didn't hit much, but the gun was faultless. How was the Ben Solly? Because I got one of them. Oh, they were right-ish. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the, the, right. the, it fired every time. It yeah, just the, maybe yeah. wouldn't eject the top one, maybe the I've bottom one. I've never had an issue with mine not firing, but I just don't enjoy it. When I use it, I'm like, it's so meh. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't hit a lot with. I'm just like, Meh. oh, that's you're exact- like a you're like a Ford Mondeo. You're you're there and you do a thing, but you're not exciting. Yeah, you're just you're just you're just a filler in the cabinet. Can you so on the on the sim days? Can you take like uh, semi-automatics? You want? You yeah, can. you can they take. They didn't worry about that. No, you yeah, take no dress codes uh, down there. That was so laid back. That's what yeah, I loved about it. It was yeah, very. I was, I was just like, I, you you're not getting me in tweed. You. F- you can fight yourself. No, I yeah, well, yeah. When I said like I was like, do you mind do you mind if I shoot my bump action? They're like, do what you fucking want. I was like, cool. So that was it. Um Because you get frowned upon on a pheasant day or a flip oh, driven. Like yeah, even uh, like a small little family shoot is laid back. If you turn up with a semi automatic, they'll be like, Well, you can't really use that. Well, I, as long as I only put two in at a time, it's okay, sure. Yeah, but then two plus two plus two plus two is eight. So you could just might as well put eight in there, really, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah it was so laid back and so good i i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it i shot the living hell out of it and uh yeah gun was faultless absolutely faultless cleaned Perfect. it when i got back oh i haven't cleaned mine yet i need to do that before saturday ah oh, grim but yeah it was fantastic everyone had a whale of a time so first doghouse sim day 
Great success. Ro- roaring success. No deaths. No deaths. No, no incidents, no accidents. All uh, was grand. That bird nearly fucking got it. Oh, that bird, you mean? What was her name? It was a bird. <laughs> there was a bird of prey that flew over and it was like, oh. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was up and I started tracking it and Muley just said, Buzzard, don't no, do don't it. do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah no it was brilliant it was brilliant everyone had a whale of a time and I, yeah highly highly recommend it to anyone i know they're a sponsor of the show but we yeah, we paid paid full price to go and it was uh it was yeah it was brilliant devon clay days big up to them for putting on the next putting on this one and hopefully for many more doghouse sim days so uh if you want to come to the next one uh we'll uh we'll let you know on the discord when when we've got uh something a date in the calendar and we'll go from there except we're not making any money out of it. it's just something we do because it's a good crack so yeah. Uh, you must have a license and insurance. Uh, and insurance, yeah, that was the only thing. But yeah, it was fantastic. Absolutely, so it's so laid back. Obviously, not like laid back on safety, but it was there was no like like rigid dress code. There was no like you know you weren't going to get picked up on doing something wrong, or no one was going to be like, oh, excuse me, that's not the traditional way of doing it or anything. <laughs> Like Jesus Christ, if they did that there, Marlon would have been, he would have been sat in the hut looking at the wall all day. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But you're right, pheasant shooting, there's a lot of, oh, you should need to do this. And you know, there's that. And the other no, but but yeah. I, I'm not. Sim days are not like that. They're I'm just, not interested in getting just shoots. Like, yeah. I just want to shoot shit. Loads, loads yeah. and loads and loads again and loads. Again over, and again. And over and over again. <laughs> and then have a cider and a sausage and go shooting again and again yeah. and again. And maybe a cake. Yeah. yeah, and some cakes and some cider and some shooting. And yeah, no, it's brilliant. Then we went to the pub after, had a, had a drink, had a, had some food, and yeah, went on from there. It was just nice. brilliant. Can't, can't recommend it. I was it enough. absolutely fucked when I got home. I was, yeah, we were. Because I was like, because Sam was saying, like, oh, should we come back and get out on the beers? And all of us were like, oh, fucking, I'm so, so tired. I'm so tired. My head was rattled to come to the end. But. Not yeah. a lot of brain, feel no, not, no, so just, you know. So I a, bought a, ma- I bought a magnet stick, right? And anyone who, <laughs> yeah, no, right? no, yeah. no, I've got to be honest, as a six foot four man with a bad back, thank you, brilliant purchase. Everyone, yeah, not for fucking 75 quid. <laughs> what? Uh, what are you on about? It was nuts. <laughs> I bought for the shoot because I was like, I don't want to be bending now and picking up cartridges. I bought a magnet stick and it cost me 58 quid. Now, I'll be the first to admit, when it turned up, I immediately thought, this fucking thing is not worth 58 quid. No, it's not. I've got a question about this because I've seen them before where you, so it's telescopic. Yeah. You wave it around the floor, pick up all your cartridges, and then there's a button you press to de magnify oh, it. Oh, I no. don't So you can that? hover it over a bin, press a button, they all oh. drop in. Oh, well, I don't have that. I don't it you got that. fucking mugged oh, okay. off, mate. Because <laughs> those I... ones are fucking cool. This one pick up, like, I think he picks up about uh, anywhere between 25 and 35 cartridges yeah. at a time. And then how do you get them off? You manually you sort just, of well, yeah, you tuck just, them yeah, off. You literally put your hand down the shaft. Sort of wank it off. <laughs> to yeah. the base, grip, and And pull. I took right. a ration of shit all day for buying this thing. And I'd already said, I was like, I have overpaid for this thing. And I appreciate that. I would have it doesn't even, you, have, it's, it doesn't even it's turn the of, magnet off. It's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. It is a lot. Well, I, I don't. But also, then people go, Reg, pick mine up. No, that, just leave. no, everyone else has already picked theirs up and moved on. He's still dicking around with his stupid I don't, stick. Joe, I don't care if it took me twice as long. At least wasn't bending over to pick up three at a time. Fuck that. The, the amount of shit I took for my magnet stick. Oh, do you know what? Next time I'm going to come with a fucking fishing magnet, like my, like Mule said, on the end of a piece of rebar. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to pick up everyone's guns. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm no, going they make they, one for next they time. They are good because when you bend down and pick them up, it, it sounds. Stop. No, it don't does encourage sound, him. No, I. I'm, yeah, no, I'm the same. I yeah. have a bad. I've been de all week. My back was <laughs> fucked. And, uh, my little violins are. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I just. Nobody I, cares. But you're the one also. You were the ones. Hang all, on, did no one else have one there on that day? No, no just was, this fucking queer. <laughs> Everyone. And the thing is, Mule started, then Abby started, then Scott started. Marlon was already on the hype train from the moment I bought the fucking thing. He was like, I'm not going to pick him up anyway. He, yeah. <laughs> he said, I think he sent it to everyone. I and did. I was like, yeah, uh, no. I was just like, <laughs> I'm going to just spend money. Everyone was I'm like, oh, up. Reg is just trying to get us all to buy one so he doesn't look like a fucking bender. I was like, no, I'm just being like, hey, look, here's something I found. It looks all right. Why well, don't, well, if you want one, here they are. Uh, no, everyone was just like, you're everyone a Everyone else had more sense. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, Maybe you shouldn't have told them how much you spent. I'm going to train a ferret to pick up my next ones. <laughs> <laughs> right. And also to pickpocket people as well while you're at it. Get your 58 quid back. <laughs> Run, Stephen, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. I, I, well, I'm glad was, you had fun. It, yeah, sounds like you had a good time. Grand old time. Yeah, my um, shoulder wasn't too bad. Everyone was... But yeah, they, to be fair to the Synergy, I mean, I know it didn't let me down, but that thing has got like half of the stock is a recoil pad. Yeah, so I did, nice. I did. The I other felt, half is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did feel. For, I felt for Mule though shooting that Bet and Zolly. That is just like one piece of vulcanized rubber on the back of it, and he's there shooting. As I on a, nearly the last drive, I ran out of cartridges in my bag. I still had another slab on the fucking buggy. Mule started me loading with 27s and I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. My shoulder's already hanging. Why the fuck do I want to shoot these? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was really good. I love how everyone, nobody gave a shit about how anyone else was shooting apart from me. When we shot that first fucking sort of like semi drive sort of like have a go thing, everyone was like, cool, Reg, you were fucking shit. You couldn't hit a thing. <laughs> Oh, I thought this was all like, oh, we're all friends here. We're all just going to have a good time. We're not here. Everyone's there with their fucking scorecards marking my... Well, the oh, thing is, Reg, no, you hit that rabbit that. twice, but you weren't very good at those quarter birds, you know, Ed, were you? I'm like, just let me... Well, the thing is, you give people so much shit for no reason. It's just time to I have do, it back. I do give people a lot of shit, but when it comes to shooting... Yeah, I'm, you can't hear nothing. I... You're so Actually, <laughs> no, you, you can. Well, I've only been with you once at your place. We did one a few months ago, didn't we? Yes. And there was, we had like all of us stood there shooting. And every now and then, when someone's reloading or having a sandwich, there's like one person shooting. And I watched you and I was like, fuck, he's really, he's one of these people that says he's shit, but he's really good. I'm not really. Whereas I'm good. the opposite. I'm like, oh, oh. And don't you know, I, oh, I went to a private school. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like, I, well, I, did, I did shoot at Millfield, but I was shit. And then, because also, because I was. With my think, Holland and Holland. Because I did my gamekeeper. People are like, well, you're gamekeeper. You, might, you should be really good at shooting, shouldn't you? Well, no, I'm good at like feeding pheasants and making sure the fox doesn't kill them. <laughs> you send a pigeon over me, I'm going to miss it. The people think that I'm good. Then I turn up and people are like, oh, but he's really good. And I am absolute horseshit. I, when I was at school years ago, I was probably acceptably good. People go, oh, he's all right. Now I'm old. My reaction time has slowed down. <laughs> my sciatic is, fu- you know, I've got a fucking hernia. My eyesight's shit. I'm just old and decrepit, and I just I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. But if someone was sat and watched me for long enough, they go, "He hasn't actually hit anything yet. He's awful." But I have a great time. But yeah, I did remember your shoot thing. I was like, oh, "He's pretty good, Reg. He's hit a lot." I'm not bad. I go through I go through periods of like being like, you know, what? I'm actually getting pretty good at this. And then yeah. I have one bad day, and I'm like, I'm going to sell everything. I hate. Also, this if sport. you do it a lot, I, he as well. was so pissed off after the first kind of little drive. He took his chokes out. <laughs> I did, well, just to like, really try and get them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I was like, you know, I've got this. I got that. I had that thing fully choked, and uh, I was, I know, full and uh, improved in that. And I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna fucking take him out because I want to start hitting shit and feel good. Yeah, and then, I'd and then just chip I don't know if it was Nigel or Mike made Big the Big Mike just you so can see going, the disappointment was like, in his face. Yeah, he did. Nigel was like, so you're gonna take your shoots out to shoot driven to shoot driven clays? And I was like thinking about it, and I was like. Oh yeah, that is pretty fucking dumb to be fair. And I haven't. I, I left all my. <laughs> and then other... you said, "But look at my magnetic thing for picking up the cartridges." I left all my other <laughs> fucking chokes in the car, so it was either shoot it completely open or fully choked. And I was like, "Right, well, I'll just. I'll guess I'll just have to be really on it." When I hit summit, there was nothing left of it. But yeah. if I didn't hit it, there, if I, I was no, there was no wing in it. There was no clip in it. It was either dust or completely sailed by. So I was just like, well. I guess I really know when I'm on it, so I know exactly how much fucking lead to give it. But yeah, people with scorecards are the worst, though. I don't. Yeah, I'd, not... I'd rather we'll someone fun, go man. come to the field. We'll have a few tinnies. We'll have a barbecue. If you want to go shoot, you shoot, and no one's keeping track. But when you go to somewhere and someone stood behind you with a little pencil from IKEA and a thing, and they're like, "Did he miss it? He missed it. Then he missed it." And you hear them, and you're like, "Oh, for fuck's sake!" And then he gets in your head, and you're like, "Well, I'm going to get this one," and then you end up with like nothing. And I think, "Fuck's sake." I get so worked up over I it. I found the less I concentrate, the more I hit. But that's why just having a few sides and not getting pissed, having a few drinks with the boys in the field, tailgate, just to, you know, like we did, yeah. you just fling it. No one's keeping score. You're more relaxed and you just think no one's watching. They're all having a bloody. That was the thing. Everyone, everyone was judging my shooting throughout the day. I didn't have time to look at how anyone else was shooting. I, was I think either... it was only the first bit people judged you shooting because we oh, all thanks. stood around watching you. I was after that we moved on because like, we've, only... we've already established you've hit fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> so we just move on and concentrate on our regardless day. of but my is, shooting. I had a brilliant weird. day. So. Well, that's what I mean. It's weird to be not saying you shit, but if you someone... <laughs> no, 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 because I'm talking. I'm talking more about myself. 
it's weird to be not very good at something but enjoy it. Yeah. Because normally, like, if I get, I, pl- I haven't, I played golf once in my life. I got my two best men play golf a lot. And uh, I went once to Fountain Gurney at a shit time. I drew a penis in the bunker in the sand. <laughs> and I was like, this is, like, right. I'm enjoying being with you two, but we can't drink playing golf. And I fucking am shit at it. And I just disliked it because I was bad at it. Whereas shooting, I'll happily go out and shoot, be shit, but genuinely enjoy it and be like, oh, I had a great day. Didn't hit anything, a, but I've had fun. I know I'm not very good, but, you know, I hit something now and again. Yeah. yeah. And then when you do hit it, you're like, did anyone see that? That was fucking good. That was dust. It was literally yeah, dust. And I like left. my shiny gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm a simple man. I have. A, I am, I am having a thought about another gun after I didn't buy that triple crown through... Everyone who said, yeah, go on, Reg, buy it. And then, no when, and then when I didn't buy it, everyone was like, yeah, it's probably a pretty wise decision, to be fair. Even Ian from uh, Devon Clay Days was like, yeah, as much as I wanted you to buy it, really was a bad <laughs> idea, Reg. Um, I am thinking about a new gun. I want a humpback browning. I want... Uh, a what? I want a hump... Uh, or That's a, a whale, isn't it? A browning auto... Uh... A browning auto five in composite. They're not hugely common. There are a few about, but I think they're very pretty. Um... And they're not crazy money, but Brian, what you the like, fuck is that? That's, a, that's the old A5. It's the original. The I think it's like the first ever semi-automatic shotgun designed by John Moses Browning. Let's have a look then. Yeah. They've been googling so it. That's it looks like it's from the fucking war. Well, it, well, yeah, it, 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 it was designed like <laughs> fucking elephant gun pre nineteen hundred. So uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to get one of those. I think I'm going to get. Shot. I bet you won't. I bet you go coffee table shopping and then you won't buy <laughs> one of them either. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here before. You'll, you'll look at a TV stand and think, "Oh, I'll have that one in oak." <laughs> no, I think I'm going to get rid of the Ost- escort because I don't. Sh- I've just. I doesn't suit me. I've tried. I've really have tried with that gun. What but, a hat tan! Yeah, it just doesn't. Ooh. I've got the same one as you have. Yeah. You've got an extreme, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. by a, w- a wood wood effect. You got the me. wood one. I got the plastic one, and right. I just. I it, it beats the shit out of me. Probably a because it doesn't fit. Uh, but yeah. to be fair, if it's the first gun I've bought that doesn't fit me, and I just don't get on with, got to keep it because they're not worth fuck all, really, are they? Oh, they, yeah. To be fair they're still worth like second hand you're still looking at like 200 quid ish for yeah. one like as long as i mean oh, that one's I like mine. that is one it, is does it cycle all right yeah cycle uh, yeah. so it's brand new it's fine oh, i need to get yeah. rid of the fab arm because that is wank 200 pound in my hand she's your shag brand new there fucking still on marketplace 50 and then end up chopping it in half and sending it to someone because they didn't pay you what you wanted or whatever <laughs> 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 if, it, if it suits you and you like it you can have it 200 quid mate because i i'm not getting on with it and i'm thinking I'll probably shoot better with a Browning. Uh, yes, you will. Yeah, Trigger's Gold, Bird will Fold and all that, you know. Um, <laughs> browning through and through. And like me all like, oh, I've got a UGB. I love not having him on. I was so about to say. Say <laughs> horrible shit about him. And he's just sat in his workshop listening like, fuck you, Reg. <laughs> <laughs> you wait, you go, I'm going to phone him. I'm going to bring him now. He'll ring you, you Friday you... and go, you fucking cunt. I don't know why he didn't bring his UGB on the sim day, A, because it'd break, but B, like how much easy that would have been for you loading. He would have gone bang, and all you've had to do is just slip another cartridge yeah, in that, and that hanger on enough, the side. Uh, that, there is so much pressure on the fucking fair, reloading. Yeah. Loading is hard yeah, I'm, like, I'm yeah. paying attention, I'm making sure no clays hit me in the face, yeah. and I've got two ready to go. <laughs> yeah. He opens the gun, the bottom one ejects, the top one doesn't, so he's fishing <laughs> the top one out, and I'm trying to get two in there. <laughs> So for him to go yeah. again. But with like professional loaders, like when you get like Rod Stewart or whatever going long leap, totally made that up. Could be anyone. Professional <laughs> loader. It's fucking hard going to load for someone and have someone like pay you decent money because it's not easy. No, because I... To, like you said, you've got to make sure all these things happen. Then you, also, you've got to make sure you put the cartridges in perfectly because they're about to fucking close it and go bang. It's stressful loading. It, yeah. yeah. The way I was... When I was uh, loading for the wife, I was stood directly behind her, and she just well, not Rod did, Stewart. No, no <laughs> she just directly break. She break the gun, and the cartridges would hit me in the chest because I was like, "Well, this is the stupid as it was. It was the easiest place for me to stand." And the way she was stood, I literally just put two straight back in there, close the gun, and go. When I was shooting, I would shoot, and I'd literally break the gun where I was shooting it like that, and then she would just like fuck two in there, just like, yeah, it's that. <laughs> <laughs> and when you got home she fucked her in there <laughs> <laughs> she fucked me in ass it's shit loader <laughs> yeah loading is stressful I know I got a funny story about loading uh, I'm not going to say who it's from because I don't want to out them on the show just beep it out but I will point. say who it was he was at a shoot and he was um, he was loading I don't know how he managed to work his way into this shoot because he's just who he is um, but he was loading on a shoot for a very 
I wouldn't say prestigious shoot, but it was a, a high amount of uh, notable people on the shoot. Ce- celebrities. Right. Um, and he was loading slash doing something slash, I don't know. He managed to work his way into this shoot and he was loading. And it's got to be Ollie Giles. He put, he was loading. He was, he was loading on horseback. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know how it managed to happen, but he managed to put a, a 20, I think I've, I am oh, doing, my, doing my best with what no. I remember. He put a 20 ball cartridge <laughs> down a 12 ball and obviously it got went past the chamber, got stuck down the barrel. Um, obviously didn't. And for some reason it wasn't the, I think he'd done it and said, I'll oh, just, don't worry, I'll take it. I'll sort it. And uh, he, he did, he's like went around the corner, stuck, got a stick and was just, I was going to say, how'd you get it out? Unless you put it in your mouth and blow. If I speak, <laughs> if you had Reg's magnetic stick, I'll, yeah. I'll speak to him after this episode and I'll put some more details on the Discord um, I, and get the full so story. So he got a stick and poked the. I think he, he out beat there. the twenty ball back out of the back out of the gun, and like I wouldn't even like think. I didn't, can't remember what the gun was, but being whose it was. David Cameron's uh, gun. Oh. I can only imagine how expensive. And he said, like, he that's said, right, we paid for it. He said, like, I just went around the corner and just, I think he's like a rock and a stick and was just <laughs> beating this 24 cartridge out of a barrel of this gun. He was like, fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, then went back and was like, it's fine. I'm yeah, they literally went back and was like, yeah, I'll get the full story off him when I speak to him next. Um, but yeah, fucking hilarious. Oh dear. Right. Uh, shall we call that a break? So we've got a fucking hell of a drink of the week to get into in a minute. So I'm very Ooh, much have we? we have, yeah. Oh. Um uh, but before we cut to a break, a massive shout out to the sponsor of this episode, returning once again, MJR Construction. Listen up, guys. If you live in the De- Somerset or Dorset area, you're struggling to find a builder that you can rely on that turns up on time, gives you an accurate quote, a decent time frame. Well, look no further than the guys at MJR Construction. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, whether it's brickwork or block work, painting, extension, patios, interior, exterior, decorating, plumbing, tiling, fencing, decking, roofing, chimney work and dem- or demolition work. The guys at MJR Construction have got you completely covered. But the main thing they do and where they specialise and have their expertise, Marlon, is in line pointing, rendering and repair. Now, I don't know if you guys know what line point and repair, render and repair is, but when it comes to working that with line, difficult. it is a specialist area. And it's not something that your general builder can do. Unless he's specialized in it and done it multiple times, it's not something that people can just turn their hand to. It is a specialized trade. And you need someone with masses of experience who's able to do it. Because anyone that has a crack at it and fucks it up is only going to cost you the same, if not more, amount of money again to have it all taken off and done properly. So if you have a house that needs line work, look no further than the guys at MJR Construction. I can't tell you how good it is to have a builder that you can rely upon. Decent time frames, working to the quote that they've given you. Most of them are like, oh yeah, you know what, well, I'll be there three weeks next Tuesday, uh, never turn up. Yeah, it's they're not turning up, and it's not only that, it's the starting a project and buggering off to go, oh well, I've got another job on, mate, and I've got to finish this off for Mrs. Jones. That No, no, you're here. You're doing the job till it's done. MJR Construction are not like that. These guys are going to turn up. They're going to do the job start to finish. And it is going to be of the best quality. Exactly what you've got pictured in your mind is exactly what the uh, the product they're going to produce is. So if you're looking for a general builder that does any of the above, including the most important part, the line pointing, rendering and repair. If you've got a house with line work on it, you know more than anyone how important it is to keep that well looked after and maintained. Uh, not only that, I mean, there's a lot of houses that are listed that have line work. And so you are kind of stuck with the fact that you have it and you have to maintain it. So get someone who uh, in who is specializes in that area, because trust me, having someone else in that thinks they can have a go at it is only going to make your life 10 times more difficult. So get in touch with the guys at MJR Construction. Check them out on Facebook and on Instagram. And they're also on My Builder. So you can keep up with all the stuff that they've done. I've been following some of the stuff they've been doing recently. I've been like, hmm damn like massive amounts of line pointing and repair or pointing out brickwork demolition all sorts of things i love seeing it on there and also yeah like i said check them out on my builder check out their reviews obviously fully insured and accredited and they've got everything on there so you can see their previous work and see what they've been up to and see uh um, yeah basically just see what they've done so you've got an idea of their previous portfolio so big up to the guys at mjr construction thank you for sponsoring the episode check them out the link in the episode description link in the bio Lebosh, right? We'll cut our break and we'll be back shortly. We'll love you. Bye. Oh, we're 
we're back again. That's right. Rabbi Reg has made a. I've, oh, I've made it. I've come back from Israel. Oh, Lord. Oh, we're back again. I've, we've been busy out there. I've been funding the IDF so they can protect us from those evil aid. What I mean, sorry, MS. They're terrible. Oh, God. Right, Marlon, it's time for drink of the week. What have we got here? I don't fucking know. Is it kosher? That's the main thing. <laughs> Good Lord, if it's even seen a pig, I won't touch it. That's right. Rubis. Chocolate velvet rubis. Ruby. Oh, God, that sounds like ISIS. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I won't go. No, you take it away from me, please. Oh, Lord. God. <laughs> Heavens. Have you read the Torah this week? Yes. <laughs> it was brought to us by Skippy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's that's right. It's time. <laughs> Someone uh, well, say something. Me or you have to interrupt to finish it. What, what is that? What is it? He says, please read the, read the marketing. I had a friend in marketing. You know that? Very good, a good friend of mine. Read the marketing bullshit, Marlon. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, oh it smells ever so strong. Oh, God. <laughs> An indulgent tree which can be enjoyed as an after-dinner drink at room temperature or chilled over ice. Ideal for relaxing at home or sharing with friends. 15%. Sh sh sharing? What is this sharing you speak of? Oh, God, no. No, Lord, they buy their own. Have you got some... But that wasn't... You haven't read everything. There must be more. Surely. <laughs> Rubis is one of wine's best-kept secrets. A special combination of carefully selected Spanish Temperillo... Red wine and premium chocolate flavour, skillfully blended in England. Well, oh. premium, that that certainly takes my fancy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we use only the finest grapes expertly grown in Spain with its long sunny days and cool nights. Oh, did a Jew help make this? I won't drink it if it's made by the Goyim. Oh, God. Muriel. Oh, Muriel. Right, it see smells what, good. See, it does smell very chocolatey. Oh, sorry. Ugh. <laughs> the fuck up. Oh, that tastes as good as the bagel from my bar mitzvah. Oh, God. <laughs> Turn them off in a minute. It's weird. That is, it needs ice. It oh, looks no, it no. looks like Ribena, like neat Ribena. I guess it's a red oh, wine. Oh, that's is so it? Red, good. Red chocolatey. Mm. I, I'll tell you what. I mean, sorry. I tell you what. <laughs> that boy Skippy, he is really hitting it out of the park with these with these beers of the week, the drinks of the week. I should say. Oh God, so <laughs> good. Shut the fuck up. Okay, well, right. I'm going to just finish this. Stop. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here all night, otherwise. Hey, they asked me. They, everyone's been crying for Rabbi Reg to make a comeback. Well, in that case, so, carry on. But no, I thought I'd just give you a little taste. Maybe maybe, maybe more in the next episode. I'm going home. Right. Um, that is... Uh, do you know what? When I opened it and smelled it, I was like, mm, I don't know how that's going to go. That is unbelievably good. I didn't think you could mix chocolate and red wine. Are you both looking at me like it's, what, is, what it's, is it you've been it's smoking? The heartburn. <laughs> no. No heartburn. It's delicious. I love it. I don't even like red wine. But I love chocolate and that is amazing. I mean, Rabbi Reg has a lot of ailments and uh, I don't think it's going to give him heartburn. Oh, Everything about it, the smell, the look of the it, smell, in the glass. it smells incredible. Yeah, and Fuck the taste of it, me. even everything, the uh, everything about it, 6 for me. What percent is it, Marlon? 15. 15. 15. So, like, kind of a little bit more than wine spec? Well, that's well, probably red wine territory, isn't wine, it? Well, I don't bit, do red wine. I think wine, wine's like 12, isn't it? Somewhere around there. So. Well, it all depends what you buy, Reg, see? <sighs> Only the best. Decent decent Malbec's like 14, I'd say. That's, uh, mm, I'd be interested to know what it costs. Marlon, can you look at what it, uh, uh, that's it, Ma Marlon. I'm not, you're, you're not my I'm, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Marlon, look that up. Well, yeah, no, up. I just do Give that. Give it I'm a goo. Lazy cunt. I reckon Sorry. it's quite expensive because it tastes bloody good. Yeah, that's good. Which I I'm going to take a pun. I reckon that is 17 quid. For a 750 mil bottle? I don't think it's 750. I think it's half a litre, isn't it? 500 mil. 15 quid a bowl. That's, that's not bad. Bad. It's delicious God, and it's, nutritious. Yeah, it is. One of your five yes. a day. Yeah, got grapes in it. You know, I'm kind of happy because uh, when we went on the shoot, Skippy bought another bottle 
he gave, gave us one. He said, I'll bring one down. He forgot to bring it down to um, down to the valley where we were shooting. I'm kind of glad that he did because I didn't want to have any... I, didn't, I want to taste it for the first time on the show. That is fucking unreal. We have had such a good run of drinks from him. He has really... Marlon's just handed his over to me, so that's not a good sign. Um, Do you not like it? I mean, it's, what's your thoughts? Come on, tell I us didn't all think, about it. I didn't think you could taste Bel- actual Belgian chocolate in wine. I thought that was... I didn't think you could taste chocolate in wine, but the fact that you can tell that that is like a good quality chocolate flavour... Um, it's okay, I just... It's not my jam. Oh, fuck, it's amazing. What do you not like about it? I might um, see if the wife wants to try some. She'll fucking love that. What's wrong with it? She just cleaned her teeth, she went... Yeah, she... <laughs> Oh, sorry for reference. She was in here a minute ago during the break. Marlon has not been texting my wife. Be like, you, you what are you bed. doing now? <laughs> you ain't bed yet, baby. I just cleaned my teeth. Um, I don't know. It's I, it's too much going on at once. No. it's quite overpowering. You're, you're a bit Is of, it too you're, much. You're, you're a bit of a red wine a connoisseur, a, aren't you? I'm, yeah, I just normal red wine like jam shed. That's so good. Fuck, that's so good. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a red wine man. But that is delicious. That is, I can't fault it. I'm it, trying to go. It is sweet, but it, I wouldn't say it's overpowering. No, it's straight. perfect. Everything's perfect. It's, it's perfect. Very well balanced. Very I love well balanced it for the for the for the quite the discerning palate. That's why I'm really amazed. That's why I'm quizzing yeah, you. On, why really, don't you like it? Really what aspect you do you not like? I can like that. You miserable puff. Come on, it's a safe space. You can tell us. <laughs> no, because you're touching me. <laughs> it's, Have it's, you brushed your teeth yet? <laughs> It's too much. Well, I think it's fucking spot on. <laughs> I think it's really good. So I'm I'm giving it a five. I'm a five too, yeah. I'll give it a three. That's a five, though. It's just a fucking five. Uh, so we'll, call, we'll give it a four then. Sorry, Skip, but I mean, you've you've hit it on the fucking nose. Like, this is the third one in a row you've done for us, and that is epic. Right, uh, before we get back oh. into the rest of the show, we do have some P.O. Box orders to open. I'm automatically terrified. Um... What do you want? If you got Not to... a fucking pipe cutter. Well, it's got a knife on it. You can't you? Shut up. Right. Uh, have we got two then. Have we, we have got, open we, a got, box? we got two to open. I'm terrified by both of them. Um, if you would like to send something to us, uh, this is right. Uh, so it is uh, Doghouse HQ PO Box five six seven two Shepton Mallet uh, Bravo Alpha four nine Echo Foxtrot. So if you want to send something to us for us to open on the show. Please, no more fucking pipe bombs. I thought this oh was a God. fucking what is that? glitter bomb. I thought it was a glitter bomb So the bomb jiffy well. bag's been opened, and we're just peeling back the bubble wrap. No way. What is that? What it's the from fuck? Simply Cigars. <gasps> no, Ooh. someone has sent us cigarettes. Oh, my fucking God. And they've got little mints in there. What cigarettes are they? Is it a... Uh, right. uh, Read the marketing bullshit. Simply Cigars. Uh, a bought- little something... Make sure to put them in the bag so they don't dry out. Use up quickly. What the fuck? Is that handwritten? Yeah. That is handwritten. Oh, I don't even know who sent this. Please let us know who sent this because you've sent us cigars and now you're all... I was just thinking I smoked my last Marlboro earlier. Should we have one now? Should we all enjoy one? Quit smoking. Stay alive for those close to you. These are Rio 6 (laughs) Villager. Hey, I think everyone close to you just I'm wants to smoke to, them, so bro, don't worry I'm about it. I'm trying to die young and leave a hot corpse. Let me be, all right? <laughs> Quietly in pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't say who they're What's from. The, are they, no. What are they, sweeties? Is there nothing sweeties? in the, is there there a sweetie? Right, no, no, well, I just wonder what they are. Well, is there really? anything like in the bag, Brev, is that yeah. says who they're from? Not looking good. You're doing a lot of titting around. Yeah. Open the damn cigars, because I want to... you open the fucking cigars, cunt. Oh, I'm... I'm Fucking looking forward to they're, this. They, they're cigarellos, though, are they? They're not proper. They're not like soprano oh, cigars, are they? Simply cigars, London. Well, I don't give a shit. Somebody has sent us cigars, and I am more than happy to. Oh no, that. Oh, oh. Tony Soprano has arrived. Oh, hello. We've got a we've got a pack of Rio Sixes here. If you really want to win points with the show, send us cigars. They're Fuck. square. They are square. We're so sophisticated. We've got red wine and cigars. <laughs> This, what has happened? This podcast has changed. Oh, you're gutted. You're not here, you dickhead. <laughs> Give him a ring. He might come down quick. Yeah. <laughs> put them, it says put them in the bag, Reg. Well, not, well you'll put the rest of them in yeah, the bag. Yeah, put the rest in the bag. I'll put the rest in the bag. Right, you can tit around with that. I don't worry about fucking working this thing in the head of me. Oh. Quite hard to open. Well, I think in, in intention. Child-proof. Child-proof. <laughs> I just meant to say that. 
Oh, there a, there's, a little, there's a little rippy thing on the gold. The gold thing is a rippy thing. There we go. Oh, look at that. Right, it's in the in the parcel. All right, where's it lighter gone? All right, we'll put that on the side here. Oh, what a day, boys. What a day. Well, Sorry, we're all busy. Are, are, they jo- are they joke ones? Are they going to explode in a minute? Yeah, glitter bomb, bang. I'm, I'm going to open the other parcel oh. before I um. Just, just as the, rip the gold thing. Yeah, but is that not inside? No, the... it's not. Oh, I it's thought not. that it's not. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. it did me right. Well, thank you. Please, uh, please let us know who sent those. We'll show you. Is there no the sign of who sent it? Then? No, you know, no, uh... just uh, but a handwritten note from Simply Cigars. I'm terrified that the next one's going to be a pipe bomb. We're good. Oh, thank fuck for that. People have said this is the first time people have sent us nice shit. Oh, it's a can oh my of God. four locos. More four, four locos. locos. Jesus. Now, I believe these are white four loco, eight and a half percent. Haven't had these, didn't know they were out. No. This is, you know what the worrying part is? These are going in the four loco pile now that people have, like, uh, Tom Nichols sent us a load. Now, uh, old uh, Web Stubbs has uh, sent us a yeah. load. Um, I believe they're from Charlie. So uh, thank you very much, mate. Yeah, thank you, mate. So we've we've been sent alcohol and cigars this this show. Thank you very much. I, do you know what? In all honesty, I, I'm, I've, we've made it. We've made it as far no as no more I'm glitter concerned. bombs. No more glitter bombs. <laughs> no more dick it. bumps. Uh, where's that logo gone? Oh, there it is. These are good, man. Whoever sent us these, big up yourself. Um, we'll shout you out on the next show. Just drops a message. Right, before we get back into the show, and uh, we spend too much time enjoying wine and cigars from our lovely listeners. We are um, bougie, aren't we? No, we are. We are. No, we are. We are very, yes. Very, 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 feel, yes. very mindful, very demure. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says that all the time. I don't know where it's from. I've heard other white women say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, big up to the guys over at Orly Fox for sponsoring this show. Listen up, guys. Are you a limited company? If you are, you might want to take a bit of a listen up because... Limited companies, you know, if you've become a limited company recently and it's all getting a little bit big, I know how it goes with limited companies. All of a sudden, you're a self-employed guy or you're a partnership. And when you hit limited company status, there's a whole lot more involved with that. You've got your corporation tax. You've got your directors. You've got your director's loans. You've got all of these things and capital gains, all these things. Dividends. Dividends. It all gets a little bit confusing and a little bit, wow. Trust me, I've been through it and know exactly what it entails. It goes from, I make money, I pay tax, I carry on working to, oh my God, there are all these complicated things that I don't understand and I don't have the time to deal with them. Let the guys over at Orly Fox take care of all of the above for you. The thing is with Orly Fox, They want to see you succeed and they're going to sit down with you and explain everything, how it works. And it's not going to be a case of you sitting down with the accountant and he says all these big long words and you just sit along there nodding. No, they need, they want you and need you to understand this as well. So they're going to walk you through everything that they're going to do and explain it to you in the terms that you're going to understand. When I first sat down with my accountant, I was like, oh, oh God, it took me a long time to work out what all of this meant. It is a lot to take in. So it doesn't matter if you're a limited company or a sole trader or a partnership or just self-employed. Orly Fox, like you say, small company with big company knowledge. You can't ask for better service than that. You might be good at whatever you do, whether that be bricklaying, groundworking, farming, building, whatever, lorry driving, running a haulage firm. I don't know. You do you. But (laughs) <laughs> you, do, you do you but the thing is where all of our expertise lie it often doesn't mean it lies in finance so they let the guys over at Orly Fox to take, take care of you and take care of that part of your business for you so you can carry on spending the hours that you need to spend running your business and not worrying about what all these fucking forms mean and what all this stuff means and directors loans and dividends and corporation tax and all that and the above because you only want to pay the right amount of tax exactly it's terrifyingly easy trust me especially when you become a limited company Oh my God, if you don't know what you're doing, the amount of tax you could be paying un- without need is worrying. And you need every penny of that to make your business business grow. So let the guys over Orly Fox take care of you in all respects when it comes to your finance, payroll, dividends, everything, income, VAT, let them take care of you. Right, big up to the guys at Orly Fox. Check them out, link in the episode description, link in the bio. Big shout out to Kieran and the team over at Orly Fox for sponsoring the show. Right. Let's get back into it, boys. Um, right. 
I am way too tied up with this uh, with the wine and cigars. This has become quite the bougie episode. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, so, boys, I thought we haven't done it for a while, and I thought we'd better revisit it as we do a lot of the time nowadays. But it's good. It's good to go back over things because we've become expertise ex- expertise podcasters, aren't we? Professionals. Uh, we've become, we, we, podcasting. <laughs> we've become expert podcasters. Uh, I thought we'd go back. Uh, Morning angle. It was only. It was half to do with uh, half to do with you, Marlon. So I know you absolutely live in the fucking past. Um, uh, and uh, me, I'm going on a '90s Butlers weekend. So I was like, <laughs> the fucking pa- Yeah, my TV's still black and white. <laughs> you no, know, you've uh, you've uh, you, you with your retro. What was your retro console room? Is now the merch room. Yeah, um, thanks for that. And all of your action men and your I master fucking love and, action and men and your master blasters and whatever fucking other shit you got on the wall there. No, that's in the bedroom. Edge uh, sketch. <laughs> Edge sketch. Fuck. I thought we'd go over some nostalgia stuff from our youth. I thought we'd relive, bring up, relive our past. You know, not the not the horrible bits with the priests, but we'll try and do the bit with the good bits. Um, I was uh, I was going to kick off and I was going to start with some TV programs, right? Oh yes, because we are from. I'd say we're all from. You know what? You, you're two. Are you two years older than me, Marlon? Will's like fucking twenty years older than us. Not that he looks it. The fucking Cypriot cunt. That olive skin to do the world are good for you. Yeah, um, no one knows my age. No one knows my age. Don't tell <laughs> I'm younger than Gilo, but older than you, little mule. What is it they say? <laughs> <laughs> never, never ask a woman a natural hair color. Never ask Will his real age, and never ask a Bosnian what he did in the in the nineties. Um, <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh it's just, it's just following orders i think um but right um i was thinking about some old school um oh, old school some of the stuff i used to watch growing up and i've got a list of things that i hate and a re- list of things that i really enjoyed Do you know what i really enjoyed i enjoyed hey arthur all right and i might yeah, be hey arthur <laughs> and i said hey hey what, what a wonderful kind of day, kind of day. Well, copy we can learn to work and play and, and get, get along with each, each other, other. Listen to the rhythm, rhythm of the street, the rhythm of your something, rhythm of your feet. Not even rehearsed, was it? No, it wasn't. Not even rehearsed. Straight no, off the cuff. Straight out of yeah, You know that, Marlon. You were quite quiet by that, but I think you, were, you knew what we meant. Yeah, yeah I knew yeah, what you, you meant. Yeah. We're not a fan of Arthur the Arvark and his fucking anteater cunt of a teacher. Yeah, no, the sister was a fucker. What was his little sister called? DW. <laughs> <laughs> she was a little twat. <laughs> she was a little twat. Yeah, did you not like Hey Arthur? Uh, I, I like Cartoon Network. Oh, you were Sky, you bougie little bastard. Yeah. I didn't have Sky. What was uh, on Sky then? Eddie Bravo. Oh, yeah, Eddie Bravo is good. Yeah. What was Eddie? Ed and Eddie. What was Eddie Bravo? Oh, he no, was Johnny the... Bravo. Johnny Sorry, Bravo. Bravo, yeah. He was, like, Bravo. It was like a triangle, wasn't he? Oh, that's he? it. Yeah. Hey, little lady. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> it. He yeah. was a bit like Elvis. A blonde hair and a yeah, black top, it, yeah. and he was like hey, a triangle little. shape, and he was always after some little blonde toots. Yeah. What's that? Come here, toots. Little, hey, little, little fucking... With Dee Dee. Oh, uh, Dexter's Dexter's Lab. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was Britain. Lab, Dexter's yeah. Lab. Wasn't he German? Like he had a, a little yeah, German. The German? No, I can't remember. He had a weird little like, Russian yeah. maybe accent. It wasn't Jewish, was he? He <laughs> said, line you up for that one again. Nah, they got rid of all those scientists. Um, anyway. <laughs> what about the pinky in the brain? Yes. Oh, the pinky That's a good and one. the brain. brain, brain the pinky brain. and the world. This is, so what we're going to do now is an hour of us reciting <laughs> the theme, the theme tune. You want me to write the theme tune, sing, sing the, the theme, theme tune. tune. <laughs> what are we going to do tonight, brain? The same thing we do every day. What is he says? Dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pinky and the brain was good. Wacky races. Oh, yeah, yes. Well, Mutley and that lot. Yeah. Yeah. Catch a pigeon. <laughs> Oh, I yes. think dastardly. Catch the Muttley. pigeon and wacky races. There's a blonde I've... bit in that too. Yeah. Or Princess Pearl, or whatever she was called. No, uh, Penelope Pit Stop. That's it. There Penelope you go. Pit Stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a blonde bit in that as well. <laughs> uh, and Smurfs. I used to watch Smurfs before yeah. school. It was always on and, Smurfs. Uh, fucking... Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, come What's quick. Gargamoil. There's a blonde bit in that too, Smurfs. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, Smurfette. Getting tr- run train on. If you yeah. look at it from an objective point of view, <laughs> Papa Smurf was getting his film. No, film. I was a child. <laughs> from an objective point of view, um, I like. I was. I was, Smurfs were. I don't know. They were a bit old for me. I didn't. I wasn't really interested in that. What I did like though was. Uh, remember Round the Twist? It was yes, that Australian yes. show. Remember the BBC. Have you ever? Ever, ever felt, felt like this? this. <laughs> Strange things happen you when you go in round, round the t- t- You're I, right. We're going to sing every theme tune yeah. to every song. I think there was. I think the BBC had obviously signed some deal with Australian Kids TV because they just had so many Australian. Can kids. you tell what it is yet? No, not. Well, they did have that, didn't yeah. they? They had Rolf's Animal Hospital. Yeah. 
He can shag. You d- can him. you tell what's wrong with me, Snake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's been sick on you. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was, uh, yeah, that was, uh, hmm, yeah, maybe not Rolf's Animal Hospital. What about Jim Orton? No, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember How To? Yes, I How? do. It was, uh, it was the three, it was, it was uh, the old guy. Old guy with the glasses. And the two younger, was it in a one Philippa Forrester? No, it? Uh, it was Carol Vorderman. Ah, is it, it Vorderman? Yeah. It was, it was Vorderman. She's still going it's strong it's now. Vorderman was good for some numbers. Ah, um, was she a German? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. Nine. Nine. <laughs> 21,000 plus 21,000 equals 6 million. Um, and it- <laughs> yeah, how to. I remember that very well, how to. I liked, yeah. Uh, yeah, how to was good on that same vibe. I fucking hated Smart and Art Attack. Well, the guy from Whoa. Smart killed himself in the bathtub, didn't he? The uh, blonde, with blonde, spiky hair. Did he uh, use the old. Uh... Oh, let me just Google Smart Suicide. <laughs> oh, so, Jesus. <laughs> uh, fucking. Did Neil do- Buchanan. No, he's, no, he's, he, still, no, he's, he's, a, was, yeah, he's in still, a rock band. Is he? He's like a bassist in a rock band. Yeah, oh. but that'll this all come out art. at some point. This is it? art. This is. I like when they had, when they went to the big fucking screen and like they're pointing the fingers. There was at a things. big. There was a big theory about um, him being Banksy. For ages, he had to come out and make a statement. Said, no, I am not Banksy. So, last time, it was in 1990, he had 10 seasons. There was also the Wobbly Head Guy. Yes. Oh, the Wobbly yeah. Head Guy. Yeah, was he was weird. Scary. Animatronic, Shit. wasn't it, or something? So, for people, because there will be people that listening real. that don't know anything about this. Yeah, like, true. We're, we're, I'm, I'm older than all of you, but we're all quite we're listened old. listened to in 100 and something countries, so, yeah. There was, uh, so, what he used to do was make, uh, he'd have, like, a football pitch, and he'd have a scissor lift, and a camera, wouldn't he? Oh, and yeah. And he'd do you'd... like a big art attack on That's a football right. pitch. You had to try and work out what he'd he was use, doing. He'd use like tarpaulin and Can you tell what sheets, it is yet? But he'd make the picture of like a sunset in yeah. fucking Australia or something, wouldn't he? Yeah. And it I, would all look pretty good Art attack end. and smart. It, just, it was like, it's like a parent's worst nightmare, really, isn't it? I, I always it's, wanted to build some yeah, but stupid like, fucking spaghetti yeah. train or something. Right. <laughs> if you just get the hot glue gun out, my mum was like, absolutely fucking not. No. Get your dad's circular saw. Just get 84 <laughs> co- pop, uh, uh, lollipop sticks. <laughs> mum, can I mean, we collect these? Yeah. Yeah. Pipe cleaners were all the rage yeah. back oh, in the 90s. <laughs> Yeah, no, unless you went to your granddad's house, nobody had a fucking pipe cleaner, did they? Just get a pipe cleaner, bend it round a few times, you've got a fuzzy McDingle dervish or whatever. Yeah, yeah I, uh, what else was on there? Um, I, the things I really fucking hated was uh, 50-50. I couldn't stand that bullshit. Yes. Anything that involved like an audience, like get your own back as well. I was That bored me to fucking tears. Um, Noel's house party. Uh, that, Bickley that was, Bottom. Mr. What? Blobby. Well, hang on. What have you got to say about that? That's bad. Well, actually, nothing. Okay, it was quite good. <laughs> well, actually, there was like there was quite a, nice. Actually, he had uh, what was it? Uh, Blobby Land, didn't he? And that all that was a big. Hurt. It was a um. Oh, what, know, oh, charred I was, was, was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it now because oh, you're going to rip the fuck hell. out of What's me. What's the place at Chard? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was um, like, with, the, with the train so, track uh, and to, the flamingos. Uh, Saint Thomas, Cricket, Saint Cricket, Thomas, Thomas. Saint Thomas. Cricket, Saint Thomas was Crinkly Bottom HQ, wasn't yes. it? Yeah, where all the nonsense went on. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Jesus Christ, we can't say that. Um, but well, <laughs> can we not? Well, We're no, having like, cigars and red wine. We say what we like. This is this is open. What are they going to do? This is a safe space, boys. You talk about whatever you like. Let me just Google Cricket and Thomas scandal and see what comes up. No, the scandal was that it's same with um Weston. He was going to open up like a blobby land in Weston and it all fell apart and uh, and something I don't know. There was a there was some I watched a certain type of program about uh, fuck, it. Well, you didn't watch a documentary on it, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you look it up, Noel was oh, Noel dear. was he, he was involved in a long-term sort of not lawsuit, but this whole thing that went through the courts about who's right it who had to pay for this and get rid of that? I don't know. Because the whole thing sort of... It, the one at Crickson's Thomas fell into... Blobby Land fell into, like, disrepair. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah it was he, a bit, he had a... He blob picked blob. up a massive heroin addict. Um, and oh. then, yeah, Mr. Blobby, he was a heroin addict for a few years. You are joking. Yeah, and that's... No, it's true. And then, um, uh, what's the name? Uh, Mr. Blobby was Noel, a suit. Noel Edmonds, he was a nonce as well. No, no, no. None of this is true. This, this is, is all... all off the BBC website. No, it's it? not. Yes. You're, no, you're not, Will. Yeah. You're just trying to get the show... <laughs> Tied up in twenty years of litigation, where we just deal or no deal was shit as well. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you've got one P, Barbara. (laughs) Boom, blobby, blobby, blobby. (laughs) I do. I do. I I didn't like Jungle Run. Was it not that that young Craig Charles looking motherfucker? He was on there. Jungle Run. There were the two people in like ape costumes that were like run away and go. I didn't really understand. Andy Peters. 
That was it. Andy Peters, yeah. Andy Peters, yeah, Jungle he, Run. He did a lot of like kids shows. I didn't like Jungle oh, Run. He's still going, Andy Peters. He's on daytime TV, uh, isn't he? I remember Raven. Fuck Raven, man. I hated <laughs> yeah. that shit. You have didn't lost... they try to bring that back? You have lost a life. I'm like, fuck your feathers. Fuck your gold ring. Get... Shitty accent. I'll get, tell you. While get, we're on, while get we're on back the... to Mordor, you dickhead. <laughs> Raven was a little bit weird. I didn't like Raven at all. It was just... I, I didn't like these old kids to have a go because they're all wank. I'll tell you the one TV program from the 80s slash 90s that I did enjoy that some people, when I say it, will go, oh, go on, fuck it, say man. it and I'm going to agree with you. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll do a bit of a, a bit of a build up to it. It was about an invisible spaceship oh, that some God. kids found. Right. Um, and I'm immediately not with you anymore. It was called Aquila. Yes. No. So you say yes and you say no. I, I know there's people now going, I remember Aquila. Two little punk ass ten year olds from fucking somewhere boring like Bristol found uh, an invisible bo- spaceship, yeah. and they used to fly around town causing chaos on it. I don't. Remember and it was that. like the shape of a a kidney bean, and it would seat two people, but it was invisible, so they'd fly around causing chaos with it. Do you remember? I've, have yeah. You, have you two yeah. just had the same sort no. of weird experience oh, as a let child? Me, let me Google this a, it. Was this a coping mechanism no, for something that CB, happened yeah. in your childhood? <laughs> Aquila. We oh. went to a private school, so that says a lot. C- um, C- hang on, bear with. Aquila TV series, Wikipedia. Here we go. Right. <clears throat> Aquila. Uh, was aired on the BBC from 97 to 98, so it didn't last long. I was I'll like, give you that. Bro, I was like four. Like, nah. It was aired twice a week based on the story of two boys, Tom and Jeff, who found a spacecraft <laughs> when digging <laughs> in a so field. Like, yeah. My name's Jeff. So like mid age <laughs> dance players. Tom and Jeff. Though. It was actually based on a book, apparently. But Up that's, to the play it now. That's by the by. Uh, but yeah, it was an invisible spacecraft they found and they caused chaos. But, but there will be people now my age going, I remember it. I remember I do, that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't great, but at the time it was. Uh, it was 90s TV. It was 97 it, like, to 98. Yeah. Very niche, very small time frame for it. Yeah. Who loves orange soda? Oh. oh yeah, but you were fucking sky, were Keenan you? Keenan and Cal. <laughs> 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 I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Oh, here goes. <laughs> to be fair, I'll just say what everyone's thinking. It was the first time we all thought black people were cool, really. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> it was so. We were like, oh, they're quite cool, these black guys. Now, it's not a kids' program. <laughs> wait for it, it a wait. It's kids' program. Here we go. No, I'm, hang I'm, on, how is it not no, a kids' no, program? No, I was going on to the next one. No. Oh. <laughs> we're listening to the Keenan and Cal. This is not the real one, is it? Because this isn't... Uh, it was kind of pre um, Fresh Prince as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. But Keenan and Kale was just before that. I I loved. It. I, I very rarely got to watch it, but I did like Keenan and Kale. Did oh. one of them work in a shop, and the other one yeah. like swept the floor or something. The fat one. There's a fat one, a skinny one. Yeah, yeah. The fat one worked in the shop, and then the skinny one just wanted to yeah. eat or drink Pet, orange yeah. soda. Or, yeah. yeah. Kale loves our soda. Who loves our <laughs> soda? I do, I, I do, do, I, I do. do. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking weird program. I like. Uh, I I didn't see it that much, but I enjoyed it when I watched it. When I ever got to see it, go to a friend's house who had Sky. Um, who oh. remembers Bernard's watch? Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, he and, turn back time. Yeah, he could be. It's pause time with his little pocket yeah. watch. I prefer, and I, and I don't want to. We go can on, talk then. about Bernard and his watch. The Queen's Nose. I was just about to say the Queen's Nose. It was a similar sort of idea, but it, it was, was a little sexy redhead bird. And she had a she had a 50 feet. I mean, Jesus sorry. Son. She was an underage ginger girl. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. I know what you're saying. <clears throat> At the time of my age, she was that age. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. Queen's Nose. And she, she basically rubbed that little, make 50, a, rubbed the little 50 pence. Yeah, she and made a wish. A something rub- like that, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, I can't. I don't remember the whole premise of it, but like going a bit forward, I liked uh, SpongeBob and Fairly Odd Parents. Mate, Fairly yeah, Odd Parents, Fairly Odd were Parents, fucking brilliant. Cosmo and Wanda, wasn't it? Yeah. With the two little things, it was just mental, absolutely mental. What's it called? My, what was it? My fa- the fa- My, Fairly Odd uh, Parents, uh, not okay. Fairly God Parents. Uh, on that note, which is what I thought you said, was my parents are aliens. 
Ah, uh, yeah, no, I wasn't. I wasn't the little it, mm. no, no, it wasn't. Oh. It was that was fucking weird. I didn't really understand that program. Well, I liked it. Well, okay, I'm well. going to stand up for myself here as a 37 year old man. <laughs> Dom, I quite like that CBBC program. Dom Dom Dick and Dom in the bungalow. Bungalow. only lasted like two seasons. And bogeys, then... bogeys, what uh, bogeys? No, bogeys. No, you're going to ruin my audio. You're going to do it. Bogeys. I did like news. Lizo, Lizo from News Round. He's yeah. actually, yeah, and also Angelica Bell. And Blue her? Peter. Blue Peter was good. Yeah, we're all is, getting very excited. Is Blue about, Peter yeah. still a thing? Yes, I think so. Yeah. That's no. Lizo and Angelica Bell, who Angelica... was on Short Change with the other black bloke. Oh, yeah, Short Change was Short good. Short Change was good. It yeah. was all basically trying to educate young adults on how to not get ripped off by stuff, wasn't it? That was it, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Didn't now, on a, a slightly different tangent, yeah. Faulty Towers. Oh, fucking love Faulty Towers. Oh, fucking the problem, the love Faulty Towers. The problem with Faulty Towers is they only did like three six, episodes. Six three episodes, seasons, wasn't it? Was it six? I think it was six episodes, oh. yeah. It was so good. Uh, it, I, mm, no, there's three seasons. It was. It wasn't yeah. like enough seasons. There's no. The, 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 there's a scene where he smashes his mini with the branch as it breaks down. <laughs> right, <There's>, you <laughs> vicious bastard! <laughs> there's O'Reilly's the builder that tries to brick up the door. <laughs> so good. That's low bearable. There's the old posh bloke with the briefcase that robs the place, but he thinks ah, he's really good because he's Lord Melbury. Yeah, yeah somewhere. <laughs> I I only saw in Melbury. <laughs> Oh, two it's seasons so of it. Uh, two seasons, sorry. It should have been so many more. Oh, no, mate, fucking They wouldn't get away with brilliant. it today, no. any of that. I'll, I'll, League of Gentlemen, like, that was one yeah. of my, like, favourite things. You are my wife now. It's not a toad, it's not a frog. I, I fucking, oh. I, could, I cannot get enough of League of Gentlemen. It's a local pub. <laughs> it's a local, local shop. <laughs> he tried to look people. up my clothes. Hello, Dave. You're my wife now, Dave. Dave. Little Britain, that was oh, that was the thing. Where do we begin with that? I can't. I, I don't. I like looking back. <laughs> How on was it. that even so good? And it wasn't that long ago. I didn't no. know. It wasn't like, that long like ago. Two thousand. Where someone yeah, makes a cake and they go, oh, oh this lemon drizzle is delicious. Who made it? <laughs> and she goes, oh, no, Panjit like, Abdul Mahuda. down the road. And they all go, <laughs> <laughs> and then the parrot in the cage starts spewing. And everyone's just, it's like Family Guy where they're all sick, but it's way before Family Guy. <laughs> but it is like it, so obje good. objectively, it is funny because. It's like old people inherently racist. Yeah, um, not all old people, it, it, but like people of that era. Stereotypical yeah. comedy. It, yeah, that was the thing. You got like the only gay in the village. You've got the disabled guy that isn't. <laughs> you disabled. could have had some cock there. <laughs> Just anybody? No. Oh, Marjorie, Fish Marjorie and Dawes. Chips. That's it. <laughs> Hello, fat Hello, fat fighters. Fat fighters. Welcome back. We'll just put down curry. Now, so, <laughs> now so I say it again. Now so I say it again. I didn't get that. Fish and chips. Now oh, so I say so it again. Good. I'm just gonna write curry. <laughs> But yeah, that was that, only what 2000 and what little bit. It's got to be mid 2000s. I know, it's now, like, like, like 04, 05. If there, someone was to do that today in Holy 2024, go on. it wouldn't even happen, would it? No. But that was not long ago. And it was, at the time, it was great. Everyone laughed at it. Yeah. Even the bloody other people. This is a local shop for local people. <laughs> we'll have no trouble here. 2003 and finished in 2006. Yes. Yeah. That's scary. I yeah. never, I never really saw Come Fly with Me. They did that one, didn't they, in the airport? I never watched it like on the television. But I, wa I watched a few. Ding, 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 with the yeah. Ding, yeah. Ding, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and what was the other one where they were in? Because I watched a little documentary on this the other day. Come Fly with Me. Yeah, that's, that's what we just what said. said. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what's, yeah it was right. Come Fly with Me in the airport. What's yeah. the one with EasyJet airline? Uh, oh, airline. Oh. That was shit. Was wild. She's like, I'm gonna go out. I'm going to have 50 fags. I'm going to have a bottle of wine. And I don't need no man. I've got that sorted. I'm like, Jesus One Christ. of them got done for stalking. Really? Yeah, that's right. Something like that. Well, yeah. I remember that news article. Airline was wild. Because there's an episode where 9-11 happens oh. on that day. And everyone in Luton's kicking off like, what do you mean I can't go on my plane? Just because some, some people <laughs> in America have crashed a plane. I can't get to Marbella. What are you on about? <laughs> The police are cutting around with MP5s in the airport and there's fucking Shanice with her six kids like, I don't understand. You're like, We've got an all-inclusive in MAGA. This is madness. What you mean? So something's crashed in America? I don't understand. <laughs> Look, looking back on it, she must watch that and think, oh my God, I had no We're idea. We've got a Buenos Aires with a nice balcony. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... <laughs> going to Argentina, aren't we? <laughs> hey, Liam, catch. Oh, be careful. <laughs> 
Oh, hey, shit. go long. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. He was on the Hollywood Monday. Hollywood cocktail. Uppers and downers. Well, a lot of downers. Um, <laughs> yeah, the old up and over and downers, yeah. <laughs> right. Right, radio-controlled cars of the 90s ah. were the best. Changed my mind. I have got two of them at home. That what have you got? I've got... Are they Tycos? Yes. Yes. I've got a Rebound. The Rebound, which had four wheels and could flip over. Yeah. Red yes. and blue. And yes. I've got the one with yes. the fucking Python. It was a Nyko. It's blue. It's a blue car. This remote controlled. But you press a button and a python pops up and there's a little reservoir of water that you fill up. Well, that's and you spray terrifying. water With out of it. Nickad batteries. I had one right, and it was a. It was like give a, it a, give, give it a Google. It was like a one. transform four by four uh, remote control car. So you press the button right, and this four by four would sort of lengthen and lower on, obviously, some motors. I yeah, had yeah. the same one. Pur- purple one. No, yeah. it was black with uh, green suspension. Yes, yeah, it had suspension. So you press the button, it went like that, down into like a low-slung racer. You pressed it again, it went... I still have that somewhere. So do you know, what, me and my old man were like, how can we... How can what well, We're annoying the cat with this thing anyway, because we're assholes and we hate cats. Um, so what we did was we turned it into a technical um, and... <laughs> We t- we put scud launcher on the back. <laughs> so what we did was, <laughs> so where it extends right at the front, we uh, f- from the front to the back, and there was obviously the uh, and we got four party poppers duct taped them to the front, and we tied the strings to the back. <laughs> We turn the fucker into a scud launcher. We creep up on the cat and press the transfer button so it would like lengthen and lower. I just go boom, 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 boom. And the cat. Oh, we were such cunts. So this is the Python. 94 has come out. This is the advert on YouTube. Wow. That is the most 90s advert. Hang on. Hang on wait, wait, wait. This is just an RC car at the minute, but you wait till it pops out its party trick, which is the Python. And you press it. Oh, it's got, Six volt it's jet got- turbo. Hang on, this is just glamorous. There. Oh my <laughs> god! And that, squirts ah! wa- that squirts water out of it, so you can chase oh, people. Oh goddamn! I've still got it at home. It doesn't. Can... The batteries are fucked. It doesn't work. I love that but... in the advert you have a hot stepsister as well. So that's that's cool. So do you remember the triple wheel? The triple wheel. Uh, I only ever had. A... I had two. No, ro- I don't. Oh, that was ninety four as well. Same year. I do remember that. Yeah, uh, vaguely. Oh. Yeah, Toys R Us special. And then they also did one. Oh, the. Ty- the Typhoon, the Hovercraft. Oh, yes. yes I, so yeah, I never had it, but wank. I did. Worst yeah. part oh, was this is you needed about... Your, your parents had to uh, literally buy stock in Duracell to run oh, these fucking absolutely. things. None of them had lipos. And no, oh, the only li- lipo wasn't a thing. Well, the, yeah, there were, but they... Oh, no, they were all um, lead acid, the big boy racer. Yeah. Well, you had actual race they cars. They take eight hours to charge yeah, and yeah. last for five minutes. I had, yeah. a, I had an E46 yeah. M3, like quite a big one. I'd say he was probably about, I don't know, two, two foot long. Just a you know a plastic shell with obviously a, a chassis underneath, and it had a lead acid in it. It used to take eight hours to charge up. <laughs> the fucking battery weighed two k. Uh, well, well, the yeah. problem was, it was like, what do you do? Do you either we raced it on the road, and then because we lived on quite a busy crossroads on the far, on the old farm, so it was like you should dodge dodge the tourists that were coming up from uh, coming up from Cheddar Gorge, or you run it around in the concrete yard that had been cracked for like twenty years. It was like heck <laughs> and just snap the body up. Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really have many remote control cars. I had um I had oh I tell you what I really loved as a kid. Really loved like almost to the point of like nee, re- masturbation. Uh no, just like re- um bright colors and flashy lights. Uh it was um My it was Little m- Pony. micro machines. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Fucking yeah, love yeah. micro machines. I had the lorry, the lorry that folded yeah, out and, and it, it holds all them inside. And it, it was a city. <laughs> Did oh. you have the oil rig? Yes, and you had the little thing that would, tsh, 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 tsh. Yeah. yeah, I had all of it. And you said, I used to buy the knockoff micro, micro machines as well. I had the whole lot. Oh, I love them. On micro- that, what was, the, you know, you had Polly Pocket for the, for the girls, obviously. Yeah. We didn't fuck about for the that. the discerning lady. They had like Mad Max. What was the, ma- what was the boy version of Polly Pocket? I don't know. I'm sure it was Mad Max where it, it closed to be like a nice little case, but you open it and it was like full of guns and zombies and stuff. Oh, I didn't have that. No, I didn't have it. I just I've heard of it. I've heard, I've heard whispers, of it, yeah, whispers in the, on the playground. 
That was um, and the other one I love was Connect. I love oh, Connect. Yeah, I mean, I still have mine now. I had a, I had a big thing of Lego. Like I had a, I had like a twenty yeah, liter storage Lego, tub of Lego. Lego even now is pr- crazy like, money. Yeah. My sister, who's 50, nearly fifty, she got the Home Alone house a couple oh, of years ago, yeah. and it's got the it's got the it's got the house and it's got the the van, the wet van, it's van. It's got the tree house with the zip wire, and then you open when you made it and it's finished. You open the doors and inside is like the um. The cardboard cutouts. <laughs> yeah, all that really? stuff. So you turn a little thing on the side and they all move around. Yeah. That's cool. I really, really need that. Yeah. Yeah. Lego are quite clever because they realised there was far more money to be made in making and selling these sets opposed to what we used to have when we were younger, which is like, a box uh, of it. A build a, a car yeah, or just a, an old this. plastic storage container of bricks and yeah. you just Do what you want. make whatever, yeah. let your imagination grow I up. really, really want the, um, probably 18 months, two years ago, they bought out a D10 dozer oh no all like fully remote control is that technics because technics is like they have motors so you have like um, yeah i've got a lego slews technics. and dumpers and it was stuff. a grand ah well <sighs> patreon's paying let's get it in <laughs> come on jesus christ <laughs> i thought we we're gonna get through one episode um now I've got the I've got the I've got the new Defender one. That, um, yeah, that is cool as fuck. Yeah, I got. Built- Has it arrived yet or not? <laughs> <laughs> I got that for Christmas 2022. You know what the worst part about it the, you know what the worst part about that Lego uh, Defender set was? They it was Lego that actually leaked the design for the new Defender. What? what their- Somebody put the Defender set on sale. Like some distributor put the Lego set on sale before they'd released the actual oh. Defender. And uh, yeah, everyone was like, "Well, this was what this is what it's going to look like." I'm like, "Well, fucking hope not." And then uh, they- it's got no windows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, see how fucking square it is. It turned up. I was like, yeah, "Okay, it's that square." <laughs> Yeah, um, but they brought out a new one now. They got the new. Uh, they do a classic ninety set this year, so I'm like, oh, oh that's, nice. that's, that's nice. Yeah, Christmas that's presents sorted. sorted. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, well, do you have a Tamagotchi? I had a Tamagotchi. Yes. No, I, didn't, I was aware of them. But I didn't have one. Yeah, me sister, me and my yeah. sister have one. We had like uh, we had the ones with the infrared on the end, so you could like Ooh. send your if like, one of you went on holiday or something, you could send your Tamagotchi over to like theirs for a holiday. And they could look after it for a bit. Yeah, I had a little yeah a little black one. She had a little pink one, obviously. Yeah, you know, just keeping up with um, gender stereotypes there. We had none of this fucking wear what you want bullshit in my house. It was, uh, <laughs> I was Action Man and she was Baby Annabelle. I that was the way it was. Love, I, I still love Action Man now. I've, I have two shelves of Action Men brand new in boxes. Yeah, never had like Sheldon Men. Cooper. <laughs> well, un, unopened. Unopened. Yeah, good. <laughs> I have uh, Jungle Man and his extra set. And his extra right. bow. I've got the lunar mission. What's it worth now then? I haven't. I, I have Might no be worth idea. A small fortune. We just look at I eBay. know. I, I like looking at it. Okay, good. I really, really. I, I so a bit like the escort. It's like looking at it. No, I don't even like looking at that piece of shit anymore. I, did, I never had the lunar mission when I was a child. Oh so the, yeah, the, the temptation made... to open that thing for the last I don't know three four years has been unreal. Yeah. Maybe tonight's the night. Uh, nope. 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 You yeah. they just get looked at. Back to Marlon's after this. All <laughs> <laughs> the like shit you were, like weren't didn't have or weren't allowed. I remember um I remember when I had my N sixty four and Ooh. I bought uh Tool oh. Rock, Tool Rock Two. See it's a like basic guy versus dinosaurs, because dinosaurs were like all in in the nineties post Jurassic Park. I bought like I had Tool Rock Two Seeds of Evil. It was a rated of fifteen on an N sixty four cart. So you can imagine that was like, oh my God, this must be awful. Mm. My mum, right? God bless her. She made my dad play it to yeah. make sure that it was all right. And dad, like, dad used to rip on Goldeneye. He was a fucking animal <laughs> on that shit. But like everything else, he just didn't really understand. And he was like, well, it's just like blood and dinosaurs. Oh, I don't give a fuck. And I played it and I wasn't very good at it. And I was like, oh, wow. There's no point. And I didn't really play it. He's like, you played that fucking game yet? I was like, well, I'm not very good at it. He was like, well, I had to fucking sit up and play it for like an hour and a half last night when I wanted to be watching the F1, you little shit. you got to play that game. I was like, I'm sorry, turn it again. I played Tool Rock. I just wanted to go back to Diddy Kong I, Racing, man. I did get my N60, because I've got an N64 at home. i got a PS1 in boxes at home. And my, my kids are seven and five. And, and they quite often have- we play Peggle on Xbox. A few people might know Peggle. It's quite tame. It's very boring but i thought i'll get the n64 out so we hooked it up 
Oh, no. And I got Mario Kart, I got Gold, and I got Donkey Kong. No. Nothing else. I know what you're going to say. It's going to make me It took sick. forever because if you've got to go through the TV and search for it, like yeah. yes. manual, and then it's going, you know, searching. Well, it used to be on Channel 6, didn't it? That was always. Oh, but now with smart TVs, a smart TV is like. What is this ancient yeah, thing that you, you have to go in, in via fucking RF and then scan yeah. for it? Yeah, and then you've got to go to analog, not digital, and yeah. scan. Unless you have an upscaler, which goes straight into HDMI. I don't have... I'm not very technical. But doesn't that fuck up the... I, I can send you a link. Doesn't okay, that fuck good. up the colours? <laughs> well, we no, found... In the no? end, we found it. We played it. We played Mario Kart. We did the... Did they enjoy we, it? Yeah, they did. And I did enjoy it. And I'm, I'm just as good as I was. I fucking... This five-year-old, <laughs> Billy, he had no chance. We did battle mode and he was fucked. Is you know, the, when you got the, the balloons on <clears throat> battle mode yes. on Mario Kart. Yeah, three you balloons, balloons and you got to drive yeah. around and shoot each other. And I was trying to tell him that the red one is a homing one. The green one's random. Star power is what you want. He wasn't this. Don't hit the banana, no, He dickhead. hated it. I loved it. I was like, I'm still so good at this. Still so good. Yeah. I fucking love me. me my, that was the only game me and my old man used to play it was gold yeah. and i and i play multiplayer on that and he used to kick my ass every time because he had a sega he had a mega drive my old man he got given it as a uh as a wedding present by somebody one of his best men or something and he um yeah he had a sega mega drive and he had like sonic he had lemmings he had desert strike nice. and jungle yes. strike desert strike yes. love the strike games desert strike it's like uh, it's literally like you are at war with Saddam Hussein. Yeah. I'm like, this is pretty on the yeah. nail because this is happening as this game has come out. It's like, you're going to kill these dirty Arabs. I you... absolutely am with my wanky joystick. With my joystick and this Apache <laughs> helicopter that I can't control and I've only got four hellfires. Oh, and, the... and then the button sticks. But I've got a rumble pack so it all vibrates, yeah. which is quite fun. Yeah, the, bu <laughs> the, button's all, the button's always stuck on those joysticks, yeah. didn't they? So I remember my old man kind of said, like, you can just use the Mega Drive as you want. So I went and bought all the bits that he didn't have when he was, like, first married. So I bought, like, a joystick, bought all these new games. He was like, fucking hell, what's I go with that? I was like, get off my ball. This is my fucking console. I was like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> we yeah. never had any consoles until the PS2 came out. Really? And Dad actually pre-ordered that. I remember you saying your dad bought it, yeah. Um, Went and picked it up. What year and, was that then, PS2? Because that's quite, oh, I reckon that's, that's quite late on, wasn't it? The yeah. PS1 I was... I think that's 03? 2000. No was it? The PS2 way. was 2000. Jesus, was it? I thought it was... 24th of November, 2000. Just in time for Christmas. That shook up the well, whole gaming Sony. world, that did, didn't Mate, it? That, way, that, that was when the Nintendo were like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> we got the GameCube. The GameCube, yeah. <laughs> oh, the GameCube. The GameCube. It had all the... It was, the thing is, it was so Nintendo. It was like, it had a little carry thing on the back so you could take it around to your friend's house. It was all like cutesy, cool games. The controller was really colourful, but by that point, gaming had moved on. And yeah, the, we needed it, Smuggler's Run and Time oh, Splitters. Smuggler's oh, Run. Yeah. Oh, that was time it. Crisis. What was people, Time Crisis? PS1, was yeah, it? People that had grown up with... No, Time yeah. Crisis on PS2. What was it? I had... Uh, I've still got the gun. The G-Con 2. <laughs> yes. But I, yeah, they will only crisis. work with CRT TVs. Yeah. Uh, okay. It has to reflect, doesn't it? Right. The, um, but that was it. Thing, people that grew up with the N64 and like, the Mega Drive and the PS1 to a point, they were like, you know, cutesy fun games. And they are, they're, but they're fucking brilliant. Micro like, Machines V3 on yes. the PlayStation 1. And then you do, and then those... The they got the Jamaican is, guy. Your audience... They got, they got Blonde Girl on that too. Blonde bit. <laughs> <laughs> they get everywhere. Blonde sells, basically. <laughs> yeah. Your audience is getting older and wants... You know, to to enjoy a bit enjoy more gaming, intricate. but something a bit more in there, a bit better graphics. You know, more stuff to time do. Time splitters. Time splitters was yeah. fucking awesome. I love time splitters too. But the, I think it was the only four player game that you could get on Xbox. Did you have a multi tap for your PlayStation? No, I didn't have. I had Xbox. I had the big, oh, big. Xbox. I had the big fat Xbox. Yeah, the chunky one. Yeah. I had on like computer one games. genuine controller. GTA. When's GTA out? This year? Next year? Oh, GTA yeah. 6. What was it? 6? Six? 6. 26. 6. 26, 26 I reckon. Remember GTA, the first GTA? What, the, the bird's eye view. Overhead view, yeah. Yeah, yeah with Elvis. I had well, GTA the Elvis, on, the, the on the Game Boy. Oh, did you? It was G Whoa, yeah, GTA. Was I don't remember GTA 2, but I remember GTA, GTA 3. Two, I remember yeah. GTA, GTA 2. GTA London, lot. wasn't there? Yeah, San Andreas. It was GTA London. I can't remember which app. Well, there was a GTA London, I swear. Yeah, they just had a Union Jack on some of the cars. Yeah, I think that yeah. was <laughs> quite literally it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and then there was GTA 3, and that was the first 3D one. Then it was Vice City. 
Then it was it. San Andres, and then it was Liberty City. Yeah. I want to say that was a bit of a flop because it was just kind of GTA 3. San sort of Andres re-render. was the one. Nah, Vice City. I'm a Vice one. City man through and through. Yeah. Tony Versetti. I love that. CJ. Mm. What was CJ on? Nice. That's San Andres. San Andres. CJ. Get the train. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All yeah. you had to do was follow what the What you dance. doing, CJ? Oh, shit. <laughs> Big Here smoke. we go again. <laughs> it was basically, it was just based on 90s rap, wasn't it? Because... Um, what was his name? Who's big? The big smoke. Who was the other guy who wore the hat? And he was like, uh, "I'm looking for my water." Um, that's basic based on Easy E. You got Big Smoke, who's based on Biggie Smalls, and the other guy, kind of Jay Z s looking motherfucker, maybe more Dr. Dre. I don't know the other big fat dude. And then you got CJ. Was know. it not a P Diddy covered in baby oil? On there, <laughs> slippery character he was. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, GTA back in the day. Unreal Tournament. Do you ever used to play that? No, I remember SSX, SSX Tricky. And yeah, and 1080 on the N64. That was right. That was snowboarding, wasn't it? And then there was, uh, what was the other one that I really liked? Oh, Tony Hawk's Obviously, Underground. Obviously, Tony Hawk's, Tony Hawk's yeah. Underground. Tony Hawk's 2 was the Pro biggest Skater, one. I had Pro Skater 3 on the PS2. But uh, Dave uh, Mira BMXing on the PS1 or 2. Even floor. Yeah, that Tony was Hawk's good. Pro Skater 2. Yeah, that was the one. Tomb Raider as well. Oh, like, Tomb Raider's not an obvious one. Lock the cunt in the fridge. How yeah. many nights were we all up till three in the morning with Lara? Looking at her pointy boots. Trying to fucking figure out how to open the lever to open the door to get into the next bit. Yeah. Jesus. It's And uh, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. I no, didn't I never want, had that. Uh, no, 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 no. Because that was that. only PC based, I think. Oh, no, I, I was... Uh, uh, I have even recently replayed that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you any better now? Yeah, because yeah. YouTube tutorials. Yeah. Oh, no, you got to play it through raw, man. No, no. You can't I, have no I fucking... had the cheats back then, all right? And I have the cheats now. Cheats, I've just got right. a little bit more help. Put the cheat in, go to save it. It's like, if you if you save oh, it no, now. Oh, no, there's nothing like that. Oh, that was always the same on San Andreas. Um, if you save it now, yeah. you'll ruin your game. <laughs> Azirim ruin. But I've got a Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> Press F10, Azirim Sophia. You get all the guns straight off the bat. I'm like, bosh, let's go. And then <sighs> fucking Russians, mate. Banjo Kazooie, I'm a, Banjo I'm a, Kazoo- yeah. Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. I love Banjo Kazooie and uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. That is one of the best games on the Nintendo 64. I won't hear another word said of it. I've never played Zelda. Zelda. Zelda's old. It is a bit weird. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I dabbled in Zelda, but never really. Got. Oh, the Ocarina of Time! Just the, 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 I want to kill people or race cars and mod it like Need for Speed Underground. <laughs> Need for Speed Underground. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That riders in the, the skull, skull. <laughs> right. whatever it is, <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> you know, riders bit, in the bit, place. Bit of Spider Man, Black Betty. Riders down Mackey's car park in there, <laughs> fucking two oh six. I loved it. That was uh, that and uh, Midnight Club Dub Edition two. That was another fucking and three. Yes, sorry, yeah, yeah, double was it? Yeah, the third one, yeah. That was fantastic. They had so much licensing for that game. They had yeah. everything on uh, there. so if you Grand Turismo 4, PS2, one of the best racing games, full stop. I, can't, I, I can't used to, I used which... to enjoy Colin McRae and V Rally, but I was never any good at them. Outrun. Outrun. Don't know. I remember, mm, Outrun. Don't remember that one. I had a blonde bit in it. Well, see, told you. Yeah, they they're were everywhere, too. these little blondies. Have you played uh, uh, the Colin McRae helicopter simulator earlier? <laughs> <laughs> no, it crashes. Doesn't end well, does it? It crashes. <laughs> uh, we've done computer um, games, we've done TV programs. Food. What we need to do at some point is I will bring a selection of consoles around. With a new TV. With a new well. TV. Yeah. And we um, just play it on the podcast. People will love that. Oh, no. Fuck them. <laughs> I was just thinking about doing it for myself. Yeah, we really? could. Yeah, we could. We just, all we need is a working TV. Um, uh, I was all about. I remember f- of food from our childhood. Is all everything I found is pretty much doesn't isn't made anymore. I, well, there's a couple on there. One thing I want to bring up, and I'm very upset about. Does anyone else remember lemon and lime polos? Oh, yes. No, I'm going to say no. I don't yes. remember that at all. He used to serve me the Queen Vic. Him pretty. It was serve him. They had him behind the bar. There was all the other behind chocolate. the EMI club. Yeah, and they don't they don't make them anymore. I've looked they up and fruit, down. Fruit polos, I remember. Fruit polos were fairly chat. I don't uh, remember lemon and lime. They were the problem is with those was they microplastics. Were, if uh, uh. chemicals, water, gay frogs. Um, but no, they <laughs> if they were if they if no if you didn't buy if they weren't moving in and out of the shop fast enough. They would get all stuck together. Oh, I remember that with the fruit ones you stick they, together it, as well. It, yeah, like, yeah. Like they were the still pages white of my Torah with they? little bits, weren't they? Uh, 
No, the, oh. no, no, no. Well, that's like, spearmint. That's no, spearmint. You're, you're thinking of spearmint. No, uh. they're genuine, like, or translucent polos. They were like little boiled. They were boiled sweets in the shape of polos in a polo tube. Fruit polos that don't exist. So it was like a foil wrapper with a paper out. Exactly the same like as the polos. Ones, yeah. yeah, but like you said, they weren't sticky if they were left too long. They were, and it was to fuck me off because you had to separate the bastards. Oh, I, ne- I don't remember lemon and limes at all. Oh, lemon and lime polos were just the best thing, and I grieve every day I think about them. <laughs> Can you get them on Amazon? Frosties. Yes, Frosties. You still get Frosties. No, you cannot no, you get can. Frosties anywhere. Oh, I, sorry, I thought you were talking about the cereal. Not the cereal. No, oh. the, the no, sweets the sweet. in a tube. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 Used yes. to sell them in Barkles. And Toffos. Don't remember Toffos. Uh, no. Oh, what? Oh, oh well, it's just me. Toffos were awesome. Yeah, Frosties, I remember. Yeah, they're very good. What, they were like a black, they were like a red, dark, purpley it's, colour yeah. packet. Don't know what flavour they were. They were really good. I, like, and yeah. it, it always used to fucking sandpaper your tongue down. Yeah. This is going to sound mental, right? And I, it's only because I have never bought them in my adult life. I only had them as a kid. Do penguins still exist? Yes. Yeah, of course they do. They do. Oh, thank and fuck And do you know what that. I've learned in my I later s- life is they're basically a bourbon biscuit covered in chocolate. That's where I get half my what? jokes from. <laughs> 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 what a princess die jokes. <laughs> they're all of fucking McVitie's penguins, apparently. <laughs> yeah, penguins are still a goer. Yeah, definitely. oh, they are still. Yeah, a, I yeah. was getting a bit worried. Then I was like, "Is my childhood no, completely there. gone?" Um, I remember BMBNs. Or they're I've not BMBNs. Found, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold tight. I've just no. found Frosty's Cola flavored boil sweets traditional recipe. No, how much? Oh, what a tri- how much? What a recipe, or you can actually buy them. You can buy them now. Buy them. No way. Actually, wait. PA box. Tell everyone a PO box. Tell them what sweets you like. <laughs> it is uh, Doghouse HQ at uh, PO box. Five seven six. We'll have a two. Nintendo sixty four with Goldeneye. That's uh, Chef to Mallet, Bravo Alpha four nine Echo Fox Foxtrot. To be fair, the sweet shop in Wales do quite well with retro sweets. Yeah, but why the fuck do I want to go to Wales? Because they got good sweets. Treasure Island sweets. Uh, right. This is another thing I want to bring up because I'm pretty sure these don't exist anymore, and I've only found this out today. Not that I've bought them since. Apparently, ricicles aren't a thing anymore. Oh, I'm not upset with. Oh, no, no. I'm not Shut upset up! They were just <laughs> better fucking uh, rice krispies. It was uh, one of the it was that they what they done is they did stuff. What? No, ricicles. No. You remember they were sugar rice co- krispies, sugar mate. sugar coated rice krispies. How, you, Marlon, you of all people, surely can appreciate a sugar coated rice krispie. No, just put sugar on no, the rice. No, ricicles were the awesome. And I'm more of a golden nugget man. To be essentially, fair. what well, it seemed, it was like an evolution from ricicle uh, um, from rice krispies. They fucked off two of the other little cunty elves. They got the best one. <laughs> they put him in a space suit, and he was the he, he was went the, to the moon. He, he'd gone solo from the shit band, much like um, Harry Styles, um, R.I.P. Liam. Um, and they put him in a space suit, and he was the front man for ricicles. And now they don't exist, apparently. And I'm gutted about that. I will look it up and make sure that. No, they... Reg, if you don't support these businesses, oh, well, I, I, oddly enough, <laughs> you can. Oh my god, you can buy them! Holy shit, you can buy them um, for a hundred pounds. Pardon? You can buy a oh, box. ricicles. What happened to ricicles? Too much sugar, so they were gone. Same with proper cocoa box. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah you oh, can. Sold by Kellogg, yeah. Kellogg's, wouldn't it? Ricicles are the latest victims of mil- Millennium's peculiar tastes. In 2017, due to its high sugar content, it was discontinued. It was why they tasted so fucking Much good, man. To the disappointment of Reg from the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> you can purchase them on eBay uh, yeah, for no, hundred okay. quid. Yeah, it says on here forty nine ninety nine. Says for an extortionate price of forty nine ninety nine. This is this is just. Good. I don't oh, worry, I found some for 75 good. quid a box. Oh, no. Do you know, the other thing I, that I, I haven't if, had If they discontinued them in 2012, they would be soft as shit. Yeah, yeah. 2017. Yeah, um, they, they're all out of date. Fabulous Bacon Boys cupcakes, remember those? Oh, I do, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. They were insanely good. Insanely Fabulous good. Fabulous Bacon Boys. Yeah, I haven't, heard, I haven't thought haven't, of them yeah, I know. No, they did like a millionaire shortbread Every as well. Every supermarket used to sell them as yeah. well. They were very, very easy Na- to Navy purchase. Blue Package. Yeah. That's it. Very American. It's only 55 miles away. What is? What is? Fabulous Bacon Boys. No way. Really? Where? Bristol? No, 55. 50, fuck me. Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, they what were What is your good. understanding of distance? <laughs> uh, Whitney. Whit- Whitney Houston. 
<laughs> Maybe the, I think the fact is that OX right? postcode. <laughs> Ox, uh, Ox, Orkney Ox. Isles. Gino can get them for us. OX is like Ox. <laughs> Oxford. Oxford. <laughs> winders. Remember them? Fruit winders? Yes. They st- I think they still make them, don't they? What about toxic waste? <laughs> oh, fuck your toxic waste. We have them in here every fucking week. There's no nostalgia there. As you, um, every time you're like, suck on this, Reg. <laughs> <laughs> And what goes on behind the scenes is none of their business. <laughs> Calippo shots. That was yes, yes the yeah. triangular ones that you freeze on your own. No, you're no, no you're not. No. They still not make those. Oh, shit. oh, the little BB pellets. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, wait, like we the, um, say in Calippo. So, yeah, the the literally, ones. literally what I just said. Calippo shots. Yeah, no, 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 no. You had Calippo. Sorry, the red wine is talking, and, and the cigar. <laughs> you had Calippo shots. <laughs> That are like BBs in yeah. like a little sort yeah. of uh, R2D2 package. That's it. Or yeah. look like a bin. But what was the yeah? But what was the one like a triangular paper packet that you freeze on your own and then you with scissors? Yeah, chop the call top it off. Mr. Sunnies or something, weren't they? Like you say, they're. I know we back. didn't get those in. Did like, you? That must. I know you. Yeah, you, you didn't. Yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> ice, cr- ice cream van spec stuff. Uh, let me have a goo. But like Calippos on. on their own are banging. Like, but the yeah, Calippo shots, R.I.P. That God's there. Yeah, um, uh, what was it? Milky Way, fucking crispy wafer, Jeffries. They were uh, awesome. Oh, you didn't like them? I really like them. Right. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Lunchables. <laughs> Lunchables. Mate, I still buy Lunchables now. You don't fucking. No, you don't. Don't. I... <sighs> it's like a little tree. You buy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fair. To be fair, you could be doing crack. <laughs> <laughs> if Lunchables is your little vice, who, who am I in this modern world and free market Mate, economy? I love a to fucking stop you? cheese string. Oh god, no! No cheese strings are horrendous. Uh, uh, my wife likes cheese strings. I'll baby bow out of baby push. bow. Oh is, no, I don't baby want baby bow. Shit. Is what cheese is it? Um, Emmental is it? Yeah, something like that. They yeah. are good, but cheese string is just plastic. Bollocks. I don't give a fuck. Same as Sunny Delight. It's oh, no bueno. I love Sunny D. No good for you, though. I don't care. I'd rather die happy than <laughs> with die a, without with Lunchables. A, with a belly full of <laughs> processed ham and reconstituted cheese right. in, in between two Ritz crackers. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Ritz crackers, don't, right? Yeah, Ritz crackers are fairly banging, to be fair. You can crack them out at Christmas. Keep your fucking... keep. I tell you what. Keep your twiglets, right? Fuck them. I hate who... I've probably been on this rant before on this show. You might well remember. I fucking hate Twiglets. They are the devil's cock, is what they are. They are awful. Lumpy, bumpy. They're just disgusting little turd nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> who wants dried marmite on a piece of twig? They are fucking gross. Do you like twi- Twiglets? Yeah, you know, I'd like. No, I wouldn't buy no, them. I- if my I was, nickname is Twiglet. I've got a friend of mine who calls me Twiglet because I'm I, skinny and brown yeah, I, and I look like a Twiglet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, every now and then you get a nickname and you go, Fair play, that's, that's if quite If anyone creative. cracks them out at Christmas, I, I immediately think less of them. I'm like, you Well, have... they're Marmite-flavoured sticks. Oh, yeah, just, really? They're just awful. Yeah. Same as those in cheese footballs. They can get in the fucking bin. Uh, treeslets. What the fuck is What's a treeslet? It's a cheeslet in the shape of a fucking tree. Isn't it a che- is a cheeslet okay, that... Okay, what's is it? it? Has it got that disgusting foam cheese in it? No. It's got the, nothing in the, it. The, 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 it's just a no. cheese thing. Oh, like a like what, a cheese... Is it like a what's it? There's no. a good cheese biscuit, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're fine. Yeah, I've got no problem with cheese biscuits. Good. Like, like there's like a mini ched, isn't it? But in the shape and of a tree. It's a different construction. Okay, but it's it's the it's the cheese footballs. They yeah. can get in the fucking oh, I don't bin. Know. I don't mind a cheese football. We like it at Christmas. You Are know? you ser- the, the, what that dis- overly salted foam cheese yeah, that's in I don't, there? You know. Oh no. Anything made by Jacobs that comes in a that comes in a fucking barrel can go directly into the bin and not pass go. I'm not being funny, Reg. You eat fucking rat poison. That's a fair point. Well made. I, um, I don't. <laughs> I have no retort to that. Why was it that Spa just had the wildest shit in there? They must like, have had some dodgy deal going on. It was always just like those choco dips and all this stuff oh. that was just full of e numbers and the worst stuff for you. And you'd be like, your mother had forgotten to buy, forgotten to go, hadn't been shopping, so you had nothing for lunch. So it was swinging the spa, just, I'll just get what you want under a fiver and crack on. So you were like, I'm going to get a brain liquor and just <laughs> fucking, get, I'll, I'll be off my bonds by geography. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Newbury. Yeah. <laughs> that was it, like four sidewinders, a, a brain liquor and a fucking choco dip, and I was ready to go. Let's learn today. 
Uh, Furbies. Done that? Fuck, Furbies. Those horrible little demented yeah. fucks. And little weird things. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just, I'm just yeah. uh, Mr. Potato Head. When Toy Story was all the rage, right. Mr. Oh, Potato yeah. Head I was had, a, Yeah. I had, a, um, I had all the Toy Story stuff. Also, while we're on the topic of computer games... I bet you did, Woody. <laughs> uh, Game Boy... So I had the original Game Boy, the silver, uh, grey one with the purple buttons. It's the R- yeah. DRG? And then they had the colour one that was like yellow yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So Game Boys are pretty I had the, oh, the I had the Pikachu Game Boy colour. I don't even want to know what that's worth now. Uh, go on, Marlon. You're Lot, the, lots. No, it's not. Lots. Oh, fuck off. Let me look it up. It was a UK one, not a JDM one as yeah, well. Even more. Even spec. more. No, don't. Don't tell me that. I had a friend who had the Pikachu N64 as well. Holy oh, shit. He sounds like a nonce. Uh, <laughs> Pikachu Game Boy. And then you had the, what was the other, what was the brain training um, where you flipped it open? Oh, that was Oh yeah, my DS. Yeah, fucking DS. God. How much? Oh, and that's, that, uh, that's had one, that's had a replacement screen, so an actual... Oh, Oh, it's not even in good condition. Mine was in such better nick than that. Where is it, Reg? It's in England. And no, it, where's yours? Where's mine? I traded it in for about a tenner to buy a <sighs> fucking... Some sweaty fucker at CEX gave you a five. Yeah, no, Insane, insane Games, games yeah. Oh, shout out Insane Games. Are they still going? <sighs> it's yeah, fr- it's in fucking, Wales. I think they shut their street The one in street, yeah, because the precinct shut down. It's fucking... By fr- Tesco's I was in. Fucking these, 300. Yeah, they shut that down. You fucked that up. But three, yeah, the one in Wales is probably still going strong, I reckon. fucking 300 pounds, right? Oh, that's not... Well, that's not enough to... That's a. That's not, like... Is that a lot? For a Game Boy, that was 50 quid new. Yeah, but how many years ago? I, no, you know, if, it, if it was worth three grand, I'd get excited. Oh, no. So, the no, the, the Pikachu N64 isn't daft money. They're like I mean, 100, 120 with no cables. You would need to buy the matching controller. Yeah, which find is, that. Oh, oh, no, there you are. No, there's one. Here we go. Oh, that's an AUSA one. Yeah, because his cheeks used to light up when you turned the fucker on. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting all kinds of fucking pissy now, boys. Can I have a beer if you're getting pissy, please? Yeah, oh, yeah I'll, I'll go for a second. Yeah, no, no worries. I think it's, it's one of those things like, yeah, I'd love to have it back and I wish I kept it, but what would I do with it? I don't exactly. need... No, I would, no, I would, to I would, be honest, you'd would, would, do it me, wouldn't you? You'd just display it. Well, yeah, display it or I would have... Or I would have kept it until it was worth that amount of money and sold it and then gone, oh, fuck no, I wish I still had that. What I really, really want is a Wu-Tang PlayStation... PlayStation controller. I know, I know, because there was a game called uh, uh, Shaolin Shadow Boxing. Yeah. yeah, I know. And the, the Wu Tang controller is, uh, were they 100 ish? More than that, maybe? Uh, I think one recently sold for about $1,100. Oh, fuck! And bearing in mind, it's the most unergonomic thing in the We've world. You've seen the big Wu Tang W. Yeah it's, it's, yeah, it's literally the Wu Tang W with some buttons in it. That is the most 90s shit known to man. Oh, God. I just look back on all the stuff that I've sold and I think, oh, for fuck. So I had all of all of my N64 games came in cardboard boxes and they were all mint and I beat the living shit out of them, lost all the manuals and just traded them back in as cartridge only. Yeah, Goldeneye. me. I had a. I think most of the N64s were like Goldeneye edition, weren't they? Don't tell me they weren't. They're not Goldeneye edition like console, but he's come in a big box with Goldeneye on the front yeah. of it, and it had the Goldeneye game and one controller and all the cables and yeah. And that was the thing. I always wanted a translucent N64 when I was younger, but wow. they're still they're still not crazy money, are they? The translucent. You could, uh, people repo the cases. I think a repo case. So if you buy a working N64. I think the case is about 70 quid. That's the thing. I wouldn't give a shit if it was like, oh, it's not genuine. I'm like, it looks like what I wanted when I was a boy. Yeah. I want the clear N64 with the clear controller and I want the rumble pack and I want the game adapter for Pokemon Stadium That and, and I want the little camera as well. I had the camera for a Game Boy and I had the fucking printer as well. I had a, I had a printer. Yeah. I had a, I... One night, we will set up in here a little retro I'll just evening. start crying, mate. I'll just lose it. I'll, I'll bring just, some we'll stuff live. round. Can we, and... can we have Mission... Have you got Mission Impossible on the N64? That was... Probably. So, oh, so... And, um... Perfect Dark. Um, and World I'll is, bring the joystick round. World is Not Enough. That was another one of my favourites. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, if you got uh. fucking spare 300 quid. 
Double that. No. Yeah. Is that how much it is for an English They're version? so expensive. It was made by Rare, wasn't it? Mm. The same people that made Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, World's Not Enough. I think they made World's Not Enough and Banjo-Kazooie. I'll Rare... bring the NES round. I'll bring the N64 and the Mega Drive. Uh, NES is a bit before my time, but I was, yeah, I was N64 and Mega Drive through and through. Oh, I just loved it. I and have... I have the adapter for the NES to play Game Boy games. Oh, yes. And that's still it's still in its original box. Tetris. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, listeners. We've just been running through absolute absolute nostalgia for the past ten minutes, um, or well, for the last hour, but more so just me and Marlon talking to each other. Um, I hope you've enjoyed reliving your potential youth if you're of an age where you remember that, and if you're not, you've just remembered the last thirty years. Oh, God, I'm sad now. I'm sad, sad now. I'm going I was, to... This the thing. I was thinking about getting an emulator. I was thinking about getting a handheld emulator, like a Steam Deck or a... Or it's one of these just l- not the same. I want to be there. I want to have that tri-handled fucking N64 controller with the joystick that would rattle and... Yeah. Do you know, oh, weirdest, wait a minute. There's a bit of float on this one. The weird thing was I would I, I went back and I was trying to find, like, imitation controllers. You remember they're like the uh, uh, third-party controllers you get for N64? So I remember he used to play with my mate, Jace, and um, he had like a really stubby one and it lost the nub off the joystick. So you literally played with a stick and I'd always get that one because I was like, oh, bro, I'm the guest at your house. Let me play with the good <laughs> controller. And I found the fucking thing. I was like, I'm going to have to buy that now. I'm just going to have to buy that for 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 time's sake. But oh, I don't know. I would love to buy one, but I just don't. I think I'd probably play it and I don't meet your heroes. But I, I, maybe I'd fucking love it. Maybe. Playing, I mean, you'd get all playing Golden Eye right. on. But when the, I played Mario Kart the other day on N sixty four, although I loved it, I was also thinking, "This is shit." Like it was a it was a fine mix between nostalgia and like, oh, we used to play this a lot, and yeah. I remember all these little things about it. But also, it's very blurry and pixelated and just shit compared As, to. If nowadays. I go way back to like N sixty four stuff and play it, I'm like, it's cool. It is very nostalgic. But it is awful. Yeah, that's all it is. is nostal- you're, all you're doing is reminiscing on what you used to enjoy. But then I n- fire up the PlayStation 2 and I'm like, yeah. oh, this is, I'm still <laughs> all about this. <laughs> yeah. Like, because the graphics aren't that bad. No, it's, yeah, but N64 is a long time ago. Like I said, we've yeah. come, on a long, come on a long way. But you, all you do is think, this used to be my, you know, I used to love it. I used to do micro machines on PlayStation 1 a lot. Mm. By, like oh. very all the levels on that the series small the, soldiers the breakfast table never did that I don't think. oh it's, that was a brilliant game yeah but but they don't Chinook. they don't compete with today's like that's why G, the new GTA when that comes out I I will never own a console that can run it because no I'm, I'm, I don't think I will so, I, I, won't, I won't buy a new console now I don't have time no. to play it but if someone had it I'd want to have a look at it I'll go, give you a shout pretty I, fucking yeah good, I, bought, I bought an Xbox One I probably just put enough hours on that to warrant having it especially when COVID like it was great playing Warzone yeah. with the boys um, but other than that I think I've I had GTA 5 for 5 minutes never really played that I had that was uh, a I, really good game I had Fallout and I played the fucking shit out of that game front to back um, I think when the new Fallout comes out you will buy an next gen I think I will I think you're right I think that'll be it but I'll buy it for Fallout and I'll buy it for GTA 6 and I'll play GTA 6 for 10 minutes and then I'll just sit yeah, and exactly. play Fallout forever and ever and the new Red Dead is there another Red Dead coming out? Oh, that's coming oh it is yeah and I'm not interested in Skyrim or Oblivion or Elden Ring or anything like that it doesn't really interest me or uh, Assassins I just I just want Fallout and I want I want the games that I want alright that's all I uh, want uh, literally I, I'll play so Cyberpunk that was mental for such a flop at the beginning. Did you have No Man's Sky or not? Hmm? No Man's Sky? Nope. That was I, another one that was a complete flop and rebuilt and was incredible. Kind Assassins, of. but I fell off at the last one because I couldn't get on with it. Grand Theft Auto and Fallout. Uh, yeah, apparently. GTA is just, whoever you are, whatever you're into, GTA is amazing. Yeah. It's all encompassing. Assassin's Creed, I tried to get on board with that and I just didn't. I jumped off a tower into a fucking... Wagon full of straw. I was like, this is all right, but I want to, I want to kill some hookers and nick a car and like get the tank and shit. You want to game? You want to do some gaming as well? Yeah. (laughs) The other thing back uh, nineties was, and I'm, 
I'm getting old now. I'm slowly the last few years realizing I'm getting old because I look at stuff and go, ah, it's not as good as what I used to. Whether it's cars or music or TV programs or mobile phones, right? So I'm due an upgrade. I got an iPhone 11 or some shit. Bollocks. What am I going to upgrade to? Another fucking I, iPhone. iPhone. Or you go Samsung. 27. They all look the same. Back in the day of fucking phones, the Motorola Razor, the original Razor. The N-Gage. All the Nokias, oh, they the had the slidey N-Gage. ones. The N-Gage. All these phones were different. So you'd, you'd see someone get a phone out and go, oh, what's that? Oh, it's the whatever. Oh, you've and got it a would black... like twist yeah. and whatever. But now they're all the same Oh, you've got rectangle. Bl- you've got a black rectangle, so yeah. have I. Oh, great. You probably spent all your fucking life on that thing because it gives you everything you need. Back in the day, mobile phones were way more exciting than they are now. Yes. I don't want and to upgrade because I'm going to get another square of fucking board, just just a glass rectangle of doom. Whereas buy a razor, they do the new they do razors now. Don't the Samsung the flip so flip smartphones are a thing now. Yeah, you the little Samsung ones, do ones. Bold. But yeah, well, they flip do the, the bold, Z flip. But, yeah, they do the but they're fold. not as they're not the same as back in the day, are they? I really. I want, want to it. press that fucking button three times to get the right letter. I re- yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I re- I had. Uh, I really wanted an LG Wing, but they never really put it into production. So it was a phone that looked like that, and then you flicked it, and oh, the top and it went, went into yes. like a T shape. Yeah. So you had a screen that way and a screen that way. I thought that was cool. They had a Nokia that opened like a flip phone, but then it span around like a camcorder. Yeah, yes. that was an N. So yeah, they oh, had that. Was it was an N series. Yeah. I had the E, I had, I, I never had, I had a N97, that was bullshit. That was the one that kind of flipped up and went like that kind of thing. Yes. That, that thing With a, sucked. It had a full keyboard, didn't it? Yeah. yeah I, I, had a, I had an yeah. e, uh, e, E75. e Even Sony Ericsson back in the day had some good phones. They yeah. Had some, like, yeah, the Walkman. W810i. Yeah, exactly, I had yeah. a W810i. Is that the brick or the flip? No, so it was, yeah, it was a brick, it was black, and it had the Walkman button. That's it, and you had the joystick in the middle. Memory mini disc. Holder. What about mini disc players? Mini disc. I never had, I mini never disc. had uh, one. I worked all summer on a farm burning dead piglets to save enough money Fuck. to buy a to buy a mini disc player during the war. And then a, a year later, mini disc was dead. Yeah. It, it literally was a flash no, in the pan. Yeah. It was like this is what you need, and then all of a sudden, no, no, MP3 now. Same with like UMDs. Remember those on uh, PSPs? Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. Just n- uh, what were the no adoption. Big shiny discs. Uh, CDs. No, bigger than that. Vinyl. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh. Big shot. Well, you had HD DVD, you had Blu ray, you had DVD. Laser disc. Laser disc. Was that. That was before CD, wasn't it? Yeah. So that was. Um, it was video, I think. Yeah. Home video format. First optical commercial disc storage. As it, my old man got my old man got a it beta was max. Literally twelve inches. My old man had beta max and he had Blade Runner on it, and he was like, "This is going to be the new way of playing media at home." Uh, fuck it. No, I can remember when the shame because it was better. Beta, beta, beta max, beta max, whatever you want to call it, was better than VHS. I've seen that um, that episode. Everything's better than VHS, though, isn't it? What VHS is well, no. old? Yeah, yeah, no, but beta, uh, beta max was the sort of rival to it. And it was it, one was of it them, a CD? I don't know. What, no, I it's can't the same as a VHS. Was. It was a reel to reel, like right. a tape. Yeah, but it was um, it was I think they were smaller than VHS, and they were it was a better quality. I think it was right. like four, four ten or something p. I don't know, but it was it was better than. Um, I think when iPod came out, it fucked it. Remember the you remember the original iPod with, with the, the, actual with, the clickers. Wheel, with the wheel on it? Yeah, yeah. You used to go around the wheel and you had the white headphones. We had the you had the buttons outside the wheel and That's then the it. wheel in yeah. the middle. And then yeah. it was iPod Mini. Betamax cassettes were smaller and more compact Thank than you. VHS. Yeah. They had a higher resolution with up to five hundred lines of horizontal resolution compared to the VHS's two hundred and fifty. Jesus, it's a, it was like it was double. literally double the recording time on it. There, five hours to two point six. But VHS machines were cheaper to produce. Yeah, and that was the thing. They were cheaper to produce, so they reckon it was porn that won it. That was why people adopted it, because por- uh, porn videos yeah. were made on VHS, so people got VHS players because you could get porn on it, and it was a sort of self-sustaining thing from there. Sad, because Dad still got a VHS player somewhere. Uh, VHS, uh, um, Betamax. Yeah. They made HD, them. DVD, and Blu-ray. It was exactly the same. Remember? You had PS3 ran Blu-ray, Xbox ran HD, DVD, 
And again, there was this sort of like big war as to what was going to win and just HD, uh, uh, Blu-ray won. Not that it lasted very long. Blu-ray was about for like five minutes. Yeah. And then everything went on live online. streaming. Yeah. I do you feel sorry for mini disc? Well, I was a big fan I do of remember Vinny. I it never had a mini disc. Long. It wasn't long, but it was <sighs> R.I.P. Well, it lasted. Do you remember floppy discs? Yeah, I remember I floppy, yeah. floppy, floppy three discs. Three point one four megabytes. Basically, a megabytes. floppy disc was like a big mini disc, wasn't three, it? Three and a half three inch three drive. Inch. Yeah. yeah. And you had the, was it five and a half or six and a half for the bigger people? Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't have that. I was a little, 3.14 I was a little megabyte of storage. I thought they were at eight meg. Nope. Really? Oh, well, you know better than I do. Yeah, I used to have yeah. my ROM games I can't, on there. You can't even store one photo on one anymore. That's... What, mini disc? No, no on a floppy disk. Oh, floppy, floppy disk. That's mad. Yeah, I, I that's remember going back some time. I floppies. remember you have like command prompt games on there. But yeah. You, yeah. Uh, MS DOS stuff. That was it, DOS MS games. DOS. Yeah. <laughs> Aft. What was the paperclip that used to tell us what to do? Who was he? Oh, fuck oh, he that prick. <laughs> hey, you're looking for help there? No, I'm going to fucking put you in a bin. <laughs> I'm going to bend you up and shove you through my nose. I was a little <laughs> punk rocker. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think that about do, boys, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> they feel so old now. Oh, the good old days. The good old days. Honestly, we're fucked now. We've got electric cars, iPhones. They ain't going to last, don't we're worry. Fucked. Everything's shit. Oh, that, that, what a great note to end the show on. <laughs> Fuck me. Everyone there on a Friday morning just... No, it's not all bad. You can still buy it all. You still have it. Do what Marlon's done. Just relive your youth vicariously. Put, put it in a room. Put it in a room. Put it in a box. There's... Uh, Fuck it, I, I might start getting into Airfix. <laughs> that might be a step Airfix. too far, Reg. No, because all you do is sniff the fucking glue you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, right. I got some new enamel paint here. <laughs> oh, look at me. This one's lead based. <laughs> it was Spitfire. <laughs> <laughs> this is what won the Battle of Britain. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, Rate us five stars on anything or do or don't. Don't. Um, don't. We're cunts. Uh, if you want to send anything to us, send it to the P.O. box, which is what, Marlon? You've just thrown all the packaging away. I don't fucking know. I'm going to try and remember it. It's Doghouse HQ at P.O. box 5672, Shepton Mallet, Bravo Alpha 4, 9 Echo Foxtrot. Bosh. Look at that. That was good. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for listening. Join the Discord. Join the Patreon. Do everything. Whatever merch. I don't give a shit. Right. Love you. Love you. Long time. Uh, I've been Reg. <laughs> I've been Marlon. I've been aging terribly. <laughs> <laughs> but we carry on. And that's the end. Oh. Oh, oh until next week. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <he made. laughs> oh, that's right.